another episode of Let's Play Minecraft Series 2. We're here on episode number 19. Wait, was it? I don't know what episode count. Three feels like a dum dum. Let me double check. <laughs> Let me double check. So, anyway, I do appreciate everybody who has come out. If you're watching here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Osage Orange, yes, I am on the right episode. Uh, if you're watching here on YouTube, uh, Twitch, at twitch.tv slash Orange, please remember to go ahead and hit that um, um, follow button if you are watching over on the YouTubes, over at youtube.com slash Gaming. Please remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, make sure to, <clears throat> excuse me, hit that follow button. And, uh, um, I mean that like button. Da, 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 da. I'm getting my stuff all mixed up. <laughs> I feel, Ill. I sort of feel all god today. <laughs> and, um, hit that bell for notifications. And, of course, please make sure to follow me on the, uh, twits over at twitter.com slash, uh, so <clears throat> Slash Osage Orange Zero One. So, let me go ahead and finish up stuff here on Discord Landia. So today, um, uh, we're going. To Hello, Z why cat? Why couldn't you have done this earlier? You are a silly four-legged feline. You silly, silly boot, he is a butt. Yes, sir, he walk in one cell. He's being a butt. This is one thing that vexes me about Watcat. The fact that he, um... Did it. He, um, likes to, um, come in, or, you know, come in, head out, whatever, uh, all at the, um, at times when I'm trying to stream. So, you know, um, it's a case of it just annoys the bloody blazes out of me that he um, wants attention, yada, yada, yada. All I'm trying to do is do my stuff and you get in the way, silly white cat. Don't get me wrong. I love my white cat. But, um, yeah, <laughs> he just, you know, at times is just freaking annoying. Wanting to um, da, 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 do uh, do his stuff, and all I'm trying to do is just do my thing, and he is just going, "Hey, give me attention! Give me attention!" <laughs> silly, silly white cat. So, anywho, let's see here. That is, see, there is that. That is that. Huzzah! All right, so let me go ahead and pull up Minecraft here. For whatever reason, uh, it wouldn't uh, let me, Minecraft wouldn't let me uh, adjust my headset volume settings, and I do not know freaking why. I don't know why. Silly, silly Minecraft. Silly, silly Minecraft. Ah, come on, moon. There we go. Let me go ahead and get the game uploaded here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let me go ahead here. Chatbot. There's that. Joining world. There we go. All right. So, um. Here we go. I've gotten uh, done a little bit of organization, but um, 
Uh, as you guys can see, I have completed, uh, as I said I would, I have completed the, um, all this. Why is my sound not up? Make sure I turn on my sound. Ah, that would be what? That would be what? All right. So, uh, I've, you know, got, we got all this part here done, um, but yeah, I managed to finish off uh, the uh, main gallery here. Let's go ahead, quickly head up top side. I've also carved out um, above the uh, the glowstone here, so we got a little bit of headroom to be able to do our stuff with. Uh, but today, we're going to be working up here in the upper works of the smelter to... Um, get this stuff done here on both sides so we're gonna have to carve out all this stuff here so it's you know all uniform and all that and so uh, we're gonna be put be able to start to put in uh, or at least prep work for our um, the um, like the coal distribution center and and all that jazz but you know one thing at a time one thing at a time we got to carve out our ceilings here we, we just got a whole bunch of stuff to do we also got to work down here uh working on our um stuff so let's see here i am looking for here we go just want the regular pick for to pick shovel i did uh, go ahead and reorganize stuff here so um it um we got some extra space, so let's see here. Tools, uh There they are. I was like, where in the bloody blazes did I put those ladders? Let's see here, let's grab some of the uh, chiseled and pull up quartz. We'll grab another half stack of that. Uh blackstone. Need some of that. Don't break. Make sure that I get uh, this next to the glowstone. Wait, I don't think I'll need the um, another brick. Definitely won't need any of that stuff. So, um, all right. So, um, right in here, uh, these guys here in the middle, of course, will be our. Um, let me get rid of the. Uh, I'm gonna, duh. These guys here in the middle are going to be, um, let's see here. Can do, actually, is uh, well, let's do some of our work here. Let's see here. We're gonna have to put that there. And put, uh, where's the, there it is. <laughs> it's feeling like a dum dum there for a moment. Let's yank out um, there we go let's go ahead and get some of this OCD work done we'll fix I'll fix that as need be so um, so over here Except the middle, of course. We can put uh, that bo bad boy right back. And let's yank out our, once again, we're going to yank out our uh, black stone. And then we need our pillar quartz right here. that. Now I want to make double sure while I'm thinking about it. Let's head over here to the um, to these guys. I want to make sure that um, oh yeah. Okay. This this is what I need to know. I was like 
how do I want to do this? And I think we'll do it same sort of style is that um, only in this case, on this side, we'll have the, uh, the, the ladders going toward the control on this side. But over here on the other side with blocks one and two, we'll have them in this case um, on this side, you know, you know, on, on the other side of these blocks. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll make sure at least make note of that. So let's first uh, we'll do this, do that, put that there. And we'll come over here to the other side. That bad boy right there. Get you out of the way. And then we'll go ahead. One, two, three. Huzzah. There we go. Of course, we need to put down that bad boy. And then the two more ladders there and there. And another one there. Huzzah! So yeah, we now have our thing. What did I do over here on the other side? I forget. Did I fill in the one between the... Um... Yes, I did. Well, or at least put a, put in a ceiling so that I don't worry about falling in. No, oh, wait, what's that? Oh, wait, yeah. So, I'm going to do um, just some of these torches. Uh, I don't have more. Oh, wait, that's right. Torches are over here. And, uh, let's go get our torches. Let's be less of a dum dum. I don't want to be a dum dum. Oh, I want to be less of a dum dum. <laughs> let's see. We'll take half of that stuff. Stack that's there. There's that. This is it. this way I can have some torches without having too many and getting my bloody inventory all filled up. Oh jeez. You had to go into the hopper, dude. Alright, so uh, let's see here. I want to double check on the positioning of the minecart. It can be very easy to forget. Alright, so it needs to be on the back side, on the side gallery side. Oh, that's right, we need to bring it up one. Is it, is he? Yes, he? Tweed knows to use his brain place, so we need to have. The thing right there. And of course, White Cat is saying once again, let me in, let me in. Let's see here. Quickly got to make an adjustment. Let's quickly snag back all the stone brick. Let's bring things up. A level. Oh, not like that tree. Not like that. And now we can seal this in. See, tree is smart. He is using his brain place. So let's come over and come on over here. Use that as a marker. Let's go ahead here. We're going to do essentially the same sort of thing. Except the middle one. So. Grab that dirt. Oh, wait. Department of Dup. Too much there, twee. Too much. Boom. One and two. You just you guys just volunteered. 
<laughs> All right. So, um, let's see if we need that. Yeah. Well, we'll get that eventually. I'm just going to just put that there for now. So that I can uh, don't have to worry about too, too, stuff too much. So, um, let's go ahead here. Let's install our uh, blackstone. Of course, we need to leave a gap right up. That's something I forgot to do on both sides. Yeah, dum dum. Boosh. We got to do this. Department of Duh. Let's put in the ladders while we're here. While I'm thinking about it. Put those in as well. Wait, did I do that on the other side? Let's, uh, let's see. Want to make sure. Yeah, we. Yeah, we need. Do we need to replace that? Yeah, it needs to be both. Department of Double Da. There. Yeah. Department of Double Da. I don't know why I. Ah, jeez, tree, don't be a dum dum. There we go. Let's get uh, that. Ah! Ah! Double multi dum dum. There we go. Huzzah! Fixed it! So, yeah. Needs to be two chiseled quartz, not pillar quartz. Uh, dum dum. Well, at least we have the means to fix it. Boom. There we go. Let's go ahead and. Oops. Well, we'll actually need that. Tree is just dum dumming right now, per normal. What else is new? Huzzah. <laughs> All right. Come on. There we go. Dokey artichokes. Let's quickly fill this uh, top layer in so we don't got no trouble with uh, going, uh, wanting to go splat. So um, let's see. There we go. Huzzah! We now have. On this side, with uh, these guys, this side now has internal access, so. Ah. Go ahead and uh, start over here now. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Torch right there. So that is correct. So. That is also correct. Huzzah. I wonder how I managed to den goof like that. Because normally.
normally I'm a lot better at making sure things are standardized. I have to go get some more uh, blackstone. That has all the learned, of course, when you the Blackstone. Blackstone, come to daddy! Oh. I know we don't need two stacks, but this is to be prepared. Alright, we'll do the same thing over here. There's that. Go to the right thing. There you go. Let's say there you go, tree. And then of course I realize. Wait a minute. What? There you go. I was like, what hopper did you land in? Come to tree, daddy. There we go. All right. Let's uh, see. That's right. That's got to be that. One, two. Wait, did I totally do OCD the other side? I wonder if I did. If I didn't, I'm a dum dum. If I did, huzzah. OCD check time. Nope, I didn't. Tree is dum dum. Quite the dum dum. I also double check to make sure things are standardized to the same length, actually. Two, three. Yes, they all standardize. Huzzah! At least this end is. So let's go double check the other side while I'm thinking about it. Engage in the organizational compulsive disorder. Now, I didn't fully build this up, obviously, but this allows us to actually go ahead and make sure that we get... Uh, Stuff done right. So let's go ahead and we're going to build this up. Let's see. Did I build that all the way up? As high as this? I forget. Visitor to check. Visitor to check. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. It just built to the top of the layers. Yep. Like I said, a little bit of organizational compulsive disorder doesn't hurt. No, um. And then we'll just, let's just build, uh. We'll just build that to there. We're gonna leave this area open here for the moment. We'll go ahead and do the same thing over here. Oh, look at this. Tree hasn't fully didn't fully standardize. Look at that. Wait, that's right. Uh <laughs> Department of Duh. Oh jeez Louise. Why cat? You little four legged fiend.
I had to actually go tell White Cat. Jeez Louise, you are such an attention needer! You just love all the freaking attention! You are a butt, sir. You, sir, are a butt. But at least he's my cat now. So in that regard, you know. Wait a minute. Where in the heck is my sand? Oh. Just moving. Ah, jeez, white cat. Man, will you please make up your bloody little mind? In and out, in and out, in and out is all he wants. In and out. No, no, uh, but he just wants, I want, I want, in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> ah. Yeah. A little attention needer. Now let's go ahead, let's finish up working on uh, this side here. And we can uh, install the, um, let's see here. Can you just, here, come on. Get up. Did I? Yep. All right. Just wanted to make sure. So, uh, make sure to, um, Install uh, the uh, what's it tr uh, starting tr things here on the um, this side. Let's see here. Set the center. Claim the stone brick, of course. Huzzah. Oh, that was smarts. That was smarts. Oh, double smarts. There we go. Ah! <laughs> because I fell, that allowed me to misplace that block. See, one, two, three. Oh, geez, I just realized we then goofed in some of the spaces. There we go. Put that there. Put that there. Go ahead and finish up here on our, uh, what's it, blocks? Stone brick, not stone brick. Um, blackstone. <laughs> there we go. Oh, um, I was watching um, this reaction uh, the other day uh, to um, uh, Avengers Endgame, and you know how, you know, the, um, I don't remember, it was uh, some small YouTuber, I don't remember the guy's name, but he was, um, you know, he said, you know, on the whole, it was uh, fairly enjoyable, and, you know, he, yeah, it was, uh, at some points, it's like, here's what I think they could have done better. Here's where I think they really done goofed. Yada, yada, yada. Um, that sort of thing. So, let's see here. Uh, we have gotten our, um, our stuff done. So, let's go ahead here. We're going to go get some cart. My, oh, that's right. We need to do the underneath, too. Department of Death. <laughs> So, 
I forget. How did we do the other side? It's it can be easy to forget at times um, how you uh, do something. It was just stone brick. Now the thing I was thinking it's probably just stone brick, but it doesn't help to indulge the uh, uh, facilities and all that. Let's go ahead here. We're going to carve this all out. I forget the guy's uh, name, but um, yeah, he uh, um, he did a he did a fairly decent, in my opinion, I think he did a fairly decent review of uh, Endgame, so. Um, I remember uh, back when I saw with uh, Tree Dad uh, when we went and saw um, Endgame in the theater, and um, um, you know, people. And I'm certain this happened everywhere too. You know how people went absolutely crazy. With um, with the um, oh jeez, frickin' Louise, white cat, jeez, Louise. I actually had to shove White Cat underneath my blanket saying, essentially saying, here, you want warmth? I know it's cold out. Here, have some warmth. Be under my blankets and don't be a dum-dum. Let's see here. I need to go double check the other side, of course. His OCD, Organizational Compulsive Disorder. Wonder why I done goof on this one. As I see, you know, we get to go fix things. Uh, I see. I see. I done goofed. So it's got to be uh, above the ladder, and ladder is like the other guys. Now that we got that fixed, Department of the Duh! Let's see. There's block five. We'll go ahead and uh, type that guy there. Double sure. Is it two or three? It's three. Yeah, okay. It's three. Huzzah. Let's go ahead and quickly. Ooh, hello there, Redstone. But yeah, I'm uh, back to. Uh, um. What's it in the theater? Uh, Endgame. And I'm certain this was, you know, for um, other theaters as well. It was... People were going crazy when, you know, all the uh, all the Avengers and uh, all, you know, all the others who, you know, died. You know, died in quotation marks had uh started coming back really coming back and it was like you know is that 
This is it. This is truly the uh, the final final battle. You know, with how uh, Thanos had essentially, you know, time uh, shifted himself from what was it like 2015, something like that, or was it 2014? You know, the he brought himself forward in time. Thanos brought himself forward in time, and. Um, And, you know, as, um, and, you know, the, the, I just remember, you know, we, even me, me, my dad and I, we were going, we were going, yes, yes, yes. You know, we, we knew the time had come and, um, Even though I know it's properly lit, we're going to go ahead and um, put up some torches. So as that... Um, um, we can make sure that um, stuff happens the way I want it to. So yeah, that that's just one thing I remember is um, from watching that... Uh, seeing it in theater, in game in theaters, is um, how you know we viewers we were all essentially going crazy as the various uh, members of the uh, uh, snapped Avengers um, started uh, showing back up, and you know it looked like you know. Past Thanos was going to win, and uh, again, you know, Thanos was essentially going to win for a second time, and, um, and, you know, uh, then we hear, you know, Falcon on the comm say, Captain, you read? Captain, on your left. And then, you know, Black Panther and, uh, his uh, siblings show up, and uh, then Falcon shows up, and then, you know, just everything starts happening, you know? So let's quickly fix this. Don't want no baddies showing up inside our smelter. It was just, you know, as I said, it was just completely crazy. It was awesome, too. You know, it's, um, you know, I've uh, seen um, and heard that, you know, people don't really like the, uh, some of the stuff uh, out of DC, uh, for the DCEU, and, you know, I can sympathize in a way. Some of the stuff that, from what I have seen, it doesn't feel quite as uh, good as MCU, Um Oh, hello there, Iron. I am going to come get you right now. Um. Jeez, which way am I supposed to be going? I forget which way. I'm supposed to be going this way, I think. It looks like it. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> Iron is going exactly the way we need to be going. But yeah, um, that's one of the things I think that Marvel, in doing uh, the MCU, has done quite well, is um, gone in and really gone to the effort to uh, work their way toward um, the... Um, what we had with uh, Aven the last two Avengers movies. They did that very well. Yes, they've got some faults with it, but I um, would definitely say that it's uh, been worth the... Um, been worth it. Let's go and get this coal torch. Ooh, more iron. Give me! I did make, did do some uh, I did do some uh, smelter design work. Um, 
in addition to um, getting um, uh, stuff done, also got um, more mine and done too, so huzzah. Just get my, quickly get my barons. And, um, so yeah, I was, went and got some, uh, you know, some, uh, stuff done so that, um, we wouldn't have to worry quite so much. Let's see, let's get that out of our hot bar so that I don't accidentally place that our end site. Ah, oh, jeez. Bloody frickin' gravel. One of the problems of having gravel uh, in areas that uh, you don't uh, anticipate having trouble. Um, now my OCD is starting to go off. It's like, did I get the other area patched? Let's see, there's that. Check. Oh, wait. It wouldn't have been. A, yeah, it's not quite as far, so. <laughs> Why am I worrying? Let's, see, where, let's check all this stuff in there. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Still gonna get some more. What's it? Um. Duh. Also need some more lighters. So let's go and mix them up. Where's the wood? I know. There it is. Department of Duh. There we go. Plenty of ladders. Let's go ahead and make up some more toilet. Let's get snag that coal. Some of that coal. I gotta say that um, one of my favorite parts there in the in the um, <clears throat> excuse me in the battle uh, in the um, in the prelude to the final battle there. Oh, I guess you know the the real final battle. I guess you could call it phase one and phase two of the um, of the battle is. Um, Essentially having the, um, you know, um, the Avengers, the, survive, the original Avengers survivors, they, um, <clears throat> they had their battle, of course, so, you know, the, uh, the initial skir, uh, I guess you could call it the actual, the initial skirmish. That would actually be better, a better description. Yeah, they have. The, the, there's the initial skirmish, and um, and then um, you know the other Avengers start showing up, and um, and um, now we have the real final battle. Ooh, gold! Hello, gold! I'll deal with you in here in a sec. Come on. Yeah, we go. Get you. Don't be a dum dum tree. But yeah, my favorite part is when um when the uh, whole team is assembling, and um you know um Tony start you know he's Tony's lying on the ground and uh, then he starts getting up a little bit when he see and then you know Pepper lands and um. You know, he's, you know, in her, in her mask comes up and, you know, it's, we know it's Pepper and, uh, you know, it was like, yes, Pepper! Let's see here. So, yeah, 
So yeah, that was, uh, you know, when Pepper showed up, that was my favorite part. Aside, of course, from Cap going, Avengers! And then, you know, he, he reaches out, you know, he re he's reaching out, Avengers! And he grabs, you know, Molnir comes to him and he grabs it and he says, Assemble! And then, of course, Thor goes, oh, you know, he roars and, uh, and, um, the, um, you know, the, the real battle, the real engagement starts. Ooh, more iron. Huzzah. And, um, you know, uh, it's, uh, you know, it looks like Thanos is going to win again, of course, you know, because he manages to get uh, Tony's uh, adjustable gauntlet. And, uh, um, and of course, uh, he, you know, he tries to snap again. And, of course, uh, it doesn't quite work out because, of course, uh, Tony... Uh, being Tony, you know, he, uh, he, g he gives the old sly of hand sort of thing, and, uh, you know, Thanos says, you know, I am inevitable. And Tony, of course, replies, and I am Iron Man. And, of course, he snaps, uh, Tony, the Tony, he does the Tony snap, and, uh, and uh, Thanos sent his uh, minion, time traveled minions, of course, all get uh, dusted. And uh, that's that. So it's a, definitely a case of on Thanos. Let's go ahead here and get uh, that. Is. There we go. There we go. This is really starting to feel like a smelter, guys. Now that we're starting to get these uh, various access pulls, and you can see the other ones over there. So, yeah, this is this is really starting to feel like one of my works. I like how I figured out, you know, the the uh, with the um, with the extraction works how to uh, do. Um, do it to where the um, um, stuff uh, just helps us out. You know, doing stuff like this just helps us out. Yes, it's more construction, but uh, um, it's worth it. <laughs> Excuse me, but it felt good. Oof, not like that, Twee. Don't be a dum dum. Uh, yeah, I just love how Cap, you know, manages to summon Molnir and uh, he goes, as he's saying, Avengers! Assemble. Let's go ahead here. We are almost done with this part. Then we can really start to worry about working on the upper work. So, uh... <laughs> Once again, Tree has gotten himself so confuzzled as to what direction he needs to be pointing. Needs to be this way. Or should be. Which it is. Huzzah. <laughs> See, it can be very easily, uh... You know, when you're going back and forth and working on stuff, it can be very easy to get uh, discombobulated where uh, where you need to go. We have a raid! It's a Ticonderoga raid! Hello, Raiders! How are you doing, Ty? 
For those of you coming in on this Ticonderoga raid, I am Osage Orange. I am a variety streamer, and we are currently having some fun in uh, Minecraft, vanilla Minecraft. And um, we are currently working on uh, our uh, smelter. We are currently in the depths of our smelter. We are doing all the fun times. Oh, wait. Yep, there we go. And before I forget, let me go ahead here and put up this fancy command right here. There we go. There we go. How are you doing, Ty? How was your stream? What were you playing? Hope you've been well. There we go. So yeah, we are currently uh, right here in the depths of the smelter. Very sophisticated device this thing is. Uh, or should I say will be when I finally get it done. There we go. Let's see here. Just kind of working right now on some of the access to uh, the um, from the, the actual furnace from the actual smelting blocks down to the uh, deep uh, guts of the ah, pff, dum dum deep guts of the smelter. So uh, let's see. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're, uh, this here is, uh, the, um, the, um, depths of the smelter. You can see I've got, um, right in here, these are the extraction systems from the f furnace blocks. Uh, we got tracks leading up here to, uh, the mine shaft, which is, of course, right here. And then, of course, we're here on the main gallery, um, this is, uh, this smelter is very much a work in progress. Um, as you can see, we've got uh, several blocks. We've got 16 furnaces per block, and we've got some side galleries, of course, also with furnaces, or what will be furnaces. Um, we've got first, second, and third blocks. Uh, two control centers. Uh, like I said, this is very much under control construction. Uh, each uh, block, which is, uh, for me, that's a grouping of furnaces, uh, is serviced, or will be serviced, by a depositing of material uh, for both uh, the raw material and, of course, this right here is a, a simple go-round for coal. Each block is, uh, as, this is going to be the um, cobblestone side and this is going to be you know like this is going to be food and sand another rack and clay this is all metal on this side each of these uh, blocks is controllable uh, individually whereas the what's going to be the cobblestone side is going to be controlled um, just by one thing because we're going to essentially be having a circuit running around in a giant circle um, for both sides, uh, on these, and, you know, each, each side is going to have its own thing. But, uh, we are busily getting stuff prepped, uh, to be able to, um, continue to work on the upper works, as I like to call this. The upper works, of course, feeds the, the smelters, I mean, the, the furnaces, which is here on the gallery, which is the main works. And that, of course, then gets, uh, once stuff is done, stuff gets uh, shunted into the, uh, the, um, the, 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 uh, the extraction works, which we were just downstairs in. So let's see here. Let's deposit stuff we don't need. What in the bloody heck? No. That is not what I'm looking for. There we go. Here's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Glowstone there. God, I am so being so freaking dysfunctional right now. Ah! Torch. You didn't need to go there. Silly torch. Silly twee. 
go there. There we go. And where is the bloody redstone? There it is. Department of Death. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and let's rig up our... Um, our... Uh, coal delivery systems for these blocks over here. Let's see. And then. Yeah, did I do... Jeez Louise. I feel like a dum-dum. Let's see, I know I did this, like that. Forgetting. Did I do? See, this is where having stuff to your advantage, done to your, works to my advantage. Alright. That answers that question. There we go. Let's go ahead and place that guy right there. Go ahead and we'll work our way uh, over here. Oh, wait. Track doesn't go there. Track goes here. <laughs> and, of course, that torch in the bloody way. Uh, yeah. Torch. Not torch. Track. Don't know why I said torch. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing it right, I'm doing it right. Uh, wait a minute. Nah, that was like, wait, I was thinking, something feels off here. There we go. Yeah, with the detector rail, I don't want them, um, you know, activating the, um, the hopper. And, you know, essentially shutting it down. That is why I leave that one gap um, to be able to uh, essentially have uh, an anti-dum-dum system. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead here. Let's rig up the... Oh, put down our chest minecart for all DOS coal. Building a smelter is not easy. You know, especially with how complex my smelters have gotten. This is why I try to make sure I have a prototype. Now, hopefully today we'll be able to um, get finished with... Uh, an amount of our stuff here. Go over here. Torches. Get the bloody torches out of our way. Let's go ahead here. Lay this track. Huzzah! Yeah, once we get... Once we really can get the uh, automation uh, system going here... Um, It'll really uh, start to make life easier. There we go. Almost there, almost there. Let's see here. There's that. And final minecart. Boosh! There we go. Alright. Minecarts are done. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> I just realized. I done goofed. <laughs> Should have waited on the mine cards, uh, because, um, we're gonna be, um, come on, we're gonna be working in that area to, um, extract, uh, to clear things out, and I'm gonna have to clear out all the office. Don't worry, 
It's not the end of the world. So, what we're going to do is um, we got to clear out the top area here from here. We're going to take it up to the level where I've got up here, and then we got to clear out uh, up above these guys over here. So this, and of course, do the same over here. That way, because what we're going to do, and of course, we got to work on the, the ceiling over the control centers. Um, so what we've got to do, essentially, is to be able to free up this space for control systems, because, you know, like right up about, uh, it's going to be right about here where we're standing, is uh, going to be the coal distribution system and the coal silos, basically how we're going to have mine carts, I'm going to have several um, hopper silos, hopper with chests, come down to about here, and um, basically, basically have them run around to where they will um, come in to a hopper line here above the... Um, Thank you, Burbles, for the host. Uh, but the hopper line will come down to where uh, it'll feed the chest minecarts. And then when they receive the redstone signals, um, they'll go around in their circles and do uh, do the coal lump or the coal block distribution. It's... Burbles, you know it is not called uh, farts, arts. You know that it is art. Uh, Gosh darn it. It is called farts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so tongue-tied trying to explain stuff and you you come in and say stuff. Silly verbals. So um that is uh gonna be why we need to clear out the uh, overhead space here in the um uh main um over here, over here, the, over the control center. Um, uh, we're working here on the smelter, and we are doing good. Das ist wunderbar. So, um, that is, uh, that is how we're doing on the smelter here, at least. Um, IRL has been cold. Last night at uh, work was um, a little bit of a high hassle because uh, we had. Um, yeah, did not mean to do that. <laughs> because we um, we had uh, our truck was uh, there was a lot of uh, frozen condensation on the inside, which. Uh, Meant we had a lot of um, a lot of ice and uh, that sort of thing. So that w it was just a huge pain in the arse having to deal with the uh, frozen condensation and all that. We got another truck tonight, and we'll probably have uh, more of the same sort of thing. Ooh, hello there, Iron. I want you. I need you. I'm gonna make you into hoppers. So we're first gonna dig out the space here underneath the uh, above, uh, underneath da, 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 above the control centers. Then we're gonna worry about the ceiling for the actual control space. That way we'll have a uh, floor slant slash ceiling to uh, get the. Um, um, be able to start to worry in due time about the uh, coal distribution system. And that'll be one of the good things about uh, the uh, coal system is that if it, of course, will be automated. Let's see here. Yeah, thinking I can get up, and it's like, no, you're going up against blocks. 
Oh, geez, Louise, I would love to see that sort of snow. It's been a while since I saw that kind of snow. I will admit. Let's see here. I'm just going to quickly sort of uh, do this little number. There we go. Oh, hello. Let's see. Here's the uh, what's it. Give myself here a little bit of a marker. Let's see here. Yeah, we've got, uh, as you guys can see, we've got at least some space over here for the, um, over the control space where we don't have to worry about mining now. Tree can go through snow. It's just that he doesn't always like having to drive through it. So yeah, but then again, most people I think would agree with that sort of, yeah, I know that feeling. And you see, you know, Osage Orange, we Osage Orange trees, we don't get to say, always get to go to the height of some of the other trees. Because there are some trees that, you know, are absolutely massively tall, you know, that it seems like. You know, even, you know, for somebody like me, and, uh, you know, it's like, oh, so tall, such a tall tree there. Hi, tree friend. Let's see here. Let's carve all this out. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, for an Osage orange tree, I'm not tall myself, so. And we, uh. We, uh. We Osage orange trees tend to be. For trees, tend to be rather, um. Ah, compact. So, um. Yeah, that, uh. Height for us trees can also be an issue. Let's snag all that stuff up. Let's go ahead and head back on up. There we go. Pull the debris up. just going to do this right here as sort of a marker so I know where I need to uh, come for that area. Yeah, well, um, if tree wasn't a tree, he, uh, he would probably be a dwarf. And, um, and let me show you the main gallery here, uh, Burbles. Um, yeah, this is the main gallery uh, for the Mark 7. This is a typical design for a Type 2 smelter that I use. Uh, basically, I've got three, um, well, two main types of smelter. There's a Type 1 and a type two. Basically a type one would be uh, blocks of smelters on one side. So, you know, I could have like, you know, like if I just wanted to, you know, like have it be part of the base, I could have, um, you know, like this be, you know, part of the base, you know, like, you know, housing, work areas, you know, farms, etc. This, however, is a type two. Basically, it's two type ones facing each other, forming a central gallery, which is what this is, or is the main gallery. It's also known as the main works, because it's where, of course, the raw materials from uh, this area appears called, you know, uh, from these. this line of uh, chests up is known as the upper works, whereas the hoppers... 
uh, here, as well as the track and the fuel hoppers. Those are the main works. So, um, basically, it's, uh, you know, it's this very tunnel-esque sort of thing, but it is meant to be beautiful. You know, it's meant to bring together um, function as well as a good form. You know, it's a case of, you know, as much as, you know, I want you to be, you know, more squat, more compact, you know, it's wor if it's worth doing a smelter, it's worth at least trying to make it beautiful, at least where most people would see it from. Whereas up here in this area, it's going to be rather plain, you know, there will be, you know, like the nether brick, uh, blackstone, obsidian, the quartz glowstone but you know once we start really getting this stuff all torn out uh there's not going to be much up here except stone brick you know this is you know where i would be coming in to do maintenance if at all as and as needed so uh let's see let's patch these right quick don't need them hold up Yeah, well, you see, that's sort of becoming my issue, is um, I'm trying to get the smelter built, which is, of course, you know, doing a lot of um, mining to get all the iron, and uh, up top side, you know, and I'm starting to get uh, issues where um, I need to worry about my storage. back there and pick up that stuff but that's okay so yeah I'm starting to run into that same problem and thing of it is my storage system is going to be as equally uh, huge I forgot bubbles have you seen the um, have you seen my upside topside stuff I forget I don't think you have If you have, well, uh, I'm certain you've seen it, so. Uh, okay, let me, um, let's go get our stuff that's fallen off the uh, stuff here from our stuff. Let's go over here to, uh, let's go and, where is that? Yes, there it is. momentarily uh, shut off sounds so that uh, the minecart sounds don't uh, blow people's ears out. Won't blow my tree ears out. Hello there, bats. Just quickly, oh, quickly head to sleeps. Make the rain go bye-bye. So, yeah, it's... um. It's going to be a huge thing, like the smelter. But compared to um, my last world, it's definitely a lot smaller. So um, here is Topsa. Let's send the minecart on down. We can turn sound back on. Um, so yeah, here is uh, going to be the industrial complex. Hi, cows. Uh, as you can see, I've got the four corners marked by um, these uh, tall, by these um, um, dark oak uh, markers here at the corners. And basically, uh, over here in this corner, the, back before um, I lost my world, my, my corrupted world, which was the same seed, um, had in this corner here had a had a rising uh, system, you know, where we could climb up. We had uh, mine carts come from the um, from underground. They came up to here, and then you know they started spark working their way up. And then it was I think it was approximately right in this area where we started having uh, a system where it came to um, 
follow sort of an this L shape and went all the way over to the other end there to uh, as a storage system. And I, I forget how many um, blocks high it was, but um, it was a fair distance. And there, of course, is my ziggurat Japanese castle house. <laughs> ah, so sweet. I need to work on this some more. I've been thinking that um, on this wall, on this side, we're going to have, um, I'm going to install a chimney. Now, yes, it won't be in line with this. I'm not going to worry about creating two separate chimneys. But I'm thinking that if I do a chimney on this wall right here and have it go through, um, what we can do with that is... Um, Hi, Edgar. Yeah, holy hedge apples of Ronin, indeed. Uh, but basically, you know, with it being sort of approximately right, approximately right in here, uh, we could have like, you know, like over here in this area be the kitchen, and then, you know, over on this side of it. And of course, I'm being roughly, um, what's it, uh, approximative. On this side could be like public space, you know. Hi, Edgar. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we got a fairly expansive uh, project ahead of us. And uh, in some ways, I am starting to run out of um, space. And I'm having to, you know, build up more, more, uh, more chests to be able to get stuff done. And I'm going... Eh, eh. Sort of a Hulk-esque sort of thing. And, um... You know, having to go... Ugh, so much work! But how do you get stuff like this done? Just one little bite at a time. And that's how I'm doing this. You know, one little bite at a time. That's how... Oh uh, yeah, this is season two. Yeah, it's my 113 world was, um, based world was season one, so. That's what the S2 is, is, uh, series two, or season two. Let's see, there we go, there's that. Let's go get this out of the way. Don't worry, we can, you know, build up a temporary, uh, scaffold to get up here to carve this area out. We're a little more concerned with trying to get um, the roof installed over the uh, this uh, this part of the command center, control center, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Let's go ahead here. I'm going to knock out all the unnecessary stuff. pick up all the debris and then uh, we'll uh, install our uh, our ceiling and that way we can really get things to be working there we go That. Oh, did not mean to do that. Department of Duh. <laughs> Duh. Look at all the debris that we picked up. This is one of course is uh, as my smelters have become increasingly complex, that has become a necessary requirement is that they, um, is the accessibility be able to get through uh, the smelter. You could literally, I know that we, we that this happened with the um, the Mark VI, was um, could literally work your way uh, through the smelter. You know, you could go through one end 
enter public access through one side and then um, work your way through the smelter and then literally pop out another public access portal on the other side and not have been through any public space in the interim. Let's see here. Another up all the debris. There we go. And put it all away now. Huzzah! Yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Um, let's grab stone brick. Let's grab those. Um, there we go. Glowstone. I know we need to do a little bit of fix up. Yeah, for my smelter, um, I'm willing to do a one wide deal myself. So let's see here. Need to OCD some stuff right quick here on the smelter on this side. use this as a temporary scaffold there we go side what's it we don't need to really worry about that much anymore All right, so now what we need to do is um, decide how we're going to do this. So first things first, let's do this so that we got uh, this even. So let's see, I do know what I'm thinking is, is um, let's see, let's see. I want to make sure I'm getting this right. Let's go ahead here. Need to whip out our. Uh, there we go. There we go. Let's see here. So, um, thought process I've got going on is uh, we need to raise up these guys, this uh, stuff here, one level. So, as that, we can bring in the. Um, the, the arch of the uh, the upside down stairs and still have still be able to retain the uh, the glowstone right there the glowstone lighting and then we'll install this roof slash floor so let's go ahead here we will perform the standard OCDing stoof so we'll go and make that some glowstone here in the uh, corners. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need, uh, yeah, I forgot obsidian. Let's go get some obsidian. Some obsidious. Yeah. Well, don't get me wrong, I love building too. I love building too. But of course, you know, uh, you know, in order to get stuff built, you need the raw materials. And so that's why, you know, I tend to have a lot of time spent gathering raw materials. I especially, of course, love doing the mining. So let's see. Um, let's see here. We'll put in those guys right there. Oh, let's put in glowstone here, too. It wouldn't hurt. At least give us more backlight. So now, all we need to do is uh, 
Let's see here. Um, let's get some stuff out of the way. Let's, uh, yeah. It is therapeutic. Sure, I was. Uh, let's see here. Wait, do I have any more uh, make up some um, some more stairs? So there we go. It is therapeutic, and um, yeah. Come on, I want. Oh, there we go. There we go. And, um, you know, people who say, uh, you know, people who might say, you know, oh, you should go play uh, League of Legends or uh, World of Warcraft or, you know, uh, insert game here, you know, you shouldn't be spending, you know, Minecraft's for kids. I was like, and I'm like, donkey dung. You can uh, be, uh, you can get a lot of fun out of Minecraft playing it as an adult because uh, there's a lot you can do. So, it's, you know, it's so long as you're having fun. It's, uh, that is the, uh, Important it. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get up top. And you know, for me, you know, a reward in this game is being able to, you know, see the fruition of your work. That is something that I love. Oh. Oopsies. Didn't mean to do that. That is something I love in this game, is seeing, being able to see the fruition of one's work. You know, you've gone through all the blood, sweat, and tears of it all, and um, just good things happen. Good things happen. So, let's see here. Let's pull out our glowstone. Going to do a thing like this, where we're going to have... Um, Put in here on the stone brick side, at least for the initial thing here. We're going to have that um, for some lighting. That way we can, and we'll do the same right here. Yeah, for me, Burbles, it's uh, the challenge of uh, doing things single player. I would rather take the time and have things done slowly versus, uh, you know, um, 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 you know, rushing them. That. Go ahead and we'll place the uh, um, stone brick here. We'll uh, want to see what things will look like before uh, we do any more changes. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm starting to think of Mimer again. Ooh, there we are. And look at this. I made up more stairs, more nether brick, ah, more nether brick stairs, and I already had more. <laughs> dum dum. Well, I'll probably need them later, so. Uh, I will need them later, actually. Duh. See, let's take them through the back ways. Bunch debris. All right. Hmm. Hmm. This just doesn't feel quite. Yeah. This just doesn't feel quite right. Let's see. Let me get my 
gosh. Hang on. Now I got Silk Touch pick here somewhere. There it is. It's like I knew I had this pick here somewhere. Just these guys right here, they just don't feel right. Sorry to say, they just don't feel right right here. Hey, come here, dude. Come back here, dude. We get that one glowstone that decided, hee hee, I'm going to smite the tree and be up top side. Now, at least it makes it easier to fill in being on top side. Yeah, that feels better, but it's it still doesn't feel quite um quite right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Tree is thinking. Tree is thinking. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, let's see here. Ooh. Tree has had thought. Come here, you jerk. Where's the, um... Yeah, tree has just had thought. Um, let's see. There they are. And he's like, I know you're here. Let's see. Put those guys back. Ooh. Ooh. Um... Do I have the tools? I need uh, stone brick. Stone brick! Oh, wait, I already got it. Department of Death! <laughs> Ooh. 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 Kind of like a. Um, Ooh, let's, 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 let's further experiment with this. Let's further experiment. Yeah, I'm making sure that my OCD requirement was met for that side. Um, let's see here. Ooh, ooh, it sort of helps make it feel a little bit like a chamber. A chamber. Ooh. I do this. Ooh, yeah! Yeah! And what we can do. Is that going to work? Ooh. See, um, get those out of the way. Yeah, this is feeling better. It's it sort of helps feel like it's um with the way this was empty, it felt like it was sort of you know oppressive, sort of coming down. Whereas these guys, the addition of these quasi pillars, um, yeah, I like this. It it doesn't, you know, not trying to take up too much space, but at the same time, it feels like it's helping support the um, the structure, and gives it and gives us a little bit more of um. A little bit more space to have, um, it, it just makes it feel better, you know. The, this is part of, you know, designing a smelter is, um, trying to figure out, you know, that's why I do a prototype to at least help get my head wrapped around what I want to build, and that is why I make the obligatory changes in the smelter's design at 
a later uh, as I'm building it. Whereas like this, you know, yeah, it feels more, it, it doesn't take up too much space. It doesn't really feel too constrictive. As a matter of fact, it makes it feel more open. Yeah, tree likes, tree likes. Let's go ahead here. We're gonna get started on the other side now. So let's, um, Let's put all the stuff we're going to need. Instead of having to resort stuff out. Um, uh, pull these guys back out right quick. We'll leave, uh, we'll leave all those needed construction materials in the, uh, in the shulker box there. Let's go dig out the other side. Yeah, this feels a lot better. This actually sort of in... Um, I, I had for the Mark VI as part of the prototype. I had considered doing some something like this, you know, having a little bit of additional decoration in the control center, but I just felt that with the way it was, it wasn't going to really work out to my satisfaction. Whereas this, the way it is, you know, sort of like that Star Wars control pit-esque on a Star Destroyer, you know, it works. You know, it makes you feeling, you know, you sort of, you know, can sort of still have the openness, you know, this way, uh, like this, it just feels too open. It feels like, you know, it should collapse. Whereas right here, it not only does it feel open, but it sort of helps, um, helps the aesthetic of feeling like it should work more fluidly. Yet, despite being rigid. <laughs> let's see. Let's get the Silk Touch pick out of my hot bar there. And uh, let's get going here. So, yeah. We got we now got plenty of space over here to be able to do our stuff. Huzzah. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's, go, let's go over here while I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's go over here. Um... Duh. Because I know we're going to have to um, dig that part out eventually. And um, um, Torch there. Ooh, hello there, uh, um, da -da -da -da, Lapis. <laughs> My tree brain just decided to skip a beat and not remember the right words. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Let's see here what I can do. Or a thing I can do. The tree is using his brain place. Trying to make his work life easier on him. And of course he just unyoofed again. That's alright. Fix it. We can fix it. It can be done. Gosh darn it, I'm suddenly thinking of um, Robin Williams on the uh, the 92 Aladdin movie, you know. That's right, he can be taught. What do you wish of me? The ever impressive, the one contained act. But never duplicated, 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 duplicated genie of the lamp. Right here, straight from the lamp. Right here for your wish fulfilling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wish fulfilling? Three wishes to be exact. An X day on wishing for more wishes. That's it. Three. Uno, dos, tres. No substitutions, exchanges, or refunds. Burbles, you ought to know that. Since when has tree not been silly? I've always been silly. 
Uh, the late, great Robin Williams. I wish he hadn't taken his own life. I've seen him, uh... Yeah. Oh, trust me, Burbles. I'm a lot more silly than you think I am. <laughs> um, I, I wish he hadn't committed suicide. You know, um... He, um... He was a... He's, he just had... he could, Not only was he a good comedian, but he could, um... Act, he, he was very good at acting. You know, having... Being able to take on a serious role. Um, I really loved him as Peter Banning slash Peter Pan in the 91 film Hook. And, um... Of course, he played opposite, um... Um... God, what's his name? Um, not Bob Hoskins. That was me. Um, God, what was his? Uh, what was his name? Uh, Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. Um, God, uh, Dustin Hoffman was also good in that film. But um, yeah, it's just that he could play that s both serious roles and. Um, but of course, uh, he also was good as a comedian. You know, that's one thing that he. Um, if you ever seen the uh, the film Good Morning Vietnam, um, he plays uh, Adrian Croner, who is actually who's actually a real guy. I actually looked it up. Adrian Croner is an actually a real guy, and um, who was a DJ who. Um, got deployed to uh, Saigon, now Ho Chi Minh City, and um, he um, he played some, uh, un he did some unorthodox things um, during his time there, and obviously, you know, uh, they do tribute to that in, um, in the film, Good Morning Vietnam, and um, just the way that uh, Robin Williams um, did his stuff for that film it was like, oh my god, that he was essentially made for that sort of role. You know, he um, he had to deal with, of course, being a DJ and you know the and all that, and um, it was oh my god, he was it was essentially made for that role. And, um, he, um, he did a real wonderful job. There we go. Pick up all the debris. We're getting a butt ton of, uh, cobblestone, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna be able to do some more filling up with the smelter. Hopefully, if we get in, if we get in just enough done, hopefully, um, what we'll be able to do is um, start to be able to install the track system here for the cobblestone side of the smelter and be able to um, get a whole bunch of things done. Oop, there's more coal. Just wish Robin Williams hadn't committed suicide. But, yeah. Let's go ahead here. Up. Oh, see? Daisy. Thinking we're going to have to cut this side back one block. Let's see here. No, wait. We can worry about that, actually. Worry more about that up here in a bit and we will have to move it over on one block on this side we'll do the same on the other I'm gonna have to go fix this pick here and look at this we're getting all the dirt I mean not the dirt all the cobble but that did 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 that tongue tied freaking tongue tied I am Let 
once we get this boat here done, we'll be able to, um, let's see, let's go ahead here. Let's get our coal, flint coal. <laughs> I know I'm gonna take out the wall. We'll, we'll only we'll only fill in uh, that part. Save ourselves some work. Huzzah! All right, I'm taking a look see here at the time, guys. It is time for us to go ahead in here and take our first break. So yeah, go and stand up, stretch, go get something to eat, go get something to drink, use the restroom, and I'll see y'all here in a few minutes.
Okay, guys, tree is back, so let's go ahead here and have everybody uh, start to stand and stretch. Uh, <clears throat> you want to get your arms and your legs a moving. You want to get your blood flowing. Or in my case, I'm moving my limbs and my roots. That'll help get my sap a flowing. Moving blood is good for you guys, for your, good for your circulatory systems and for your hearts. And slowly sap is for my hot wood and my circular soil system as well. Actually, I've been kind of thinking a little bit comedically here as um, I've been thinking about um, it was like the wasn't it? Uh, it's one of the Ice Age. I think it was Continental Drift. I think it was the one where uh, Scrat finds Scratlantis. And the, uh, sort of the leader, I, I forget his name, um, if he, if they gave him a name, they probably did, how they have him voiced by Patrick Stewart. And, you know, Scrat goes crazy when he sees all the nuts, and, uh, you know, um, Patrick Stewart has that, you know, has that line, is that, brother, you are better than this, you are more than this, you can be more than a rodent. And of course, Scrat goes particularly bonkers with the big nut, and uh, when he pulls it up, you know, you see, you see, it's uh, chained to a um, a plug, and um, you know, it's like, and it's like, uh oh, realizing uh, something that's happening. Of course, it all gets washed. You know, Scrat lanterns gets washed away, sucked down into the depths of the earth, and um, Scrat is chucked into the, uh, you know, chucked into the desert southwest of the U.S., and he, uh, you know, he's like, ah, in, in all the heat. <laughs> that is so freaking funny. So freaking funny. All right. That should hopefully be enough stretching, so, um, let's go ahead here. Let's, uh, got my one liter water bottle here. Let's everybody get a drink of water. Uh, there we go. Uh. All right, so let's go ahead here. So yeah, that that is just so funny how you know Scrat, you know, he didn't win. That's the thing about him is that no matter how he tries to store his acorns, um. He just can't win. He just cannot win at all. Let's see here. That's right. We need to take the wall back one. Let's go ahead and once we get this part here done, we'll do that. And we'll go do it on the other side too. Even though we technically won't need it on the other side. It's all about maintaining proportions. But yeah, that, um, I don't know what got me started on that. Um, thinking about that. My, I think it was because my tree wind was just busy wool gathering and, uh, and, um, it just sort of popped into my head, you know? There we go. All right. <laughs> I'm now thinking about this one vid. I've seen called uh, Rage and Mythology uh, by the uh, animator Woolly World. And um, um, see, the first one was um, an event between a uh, depiction of uh, how he would uh, used to fight in the game uh, with uh, his friends and all that. 
and um, um, the thought guy who was fought, he says, you know, you know, uh, goes, uh, wait, you know, he's, he's shooting, you know, the, you know, show some villagers mining, and um, next thing we know, the, um, an archer runs up, he's got, uh, he's, uh, he's obviously panicking because uh, stuff's happening, and he goes, huh, 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 and then, you know, he gets killed by arrows, and then uh, Grant's buddy says, wait a minute, Grant, that wasn't your last guy? Grant! Jeez, white cat! Just a sec, white cat! White cat in his inconvenience toward, um, that's in our streaming. <laughs> oh, yeah. He goes, the, the, the guy, um, uh, says, that wasn't your last guy. And, uh, you know, if you haven't hid one villager in a distant corner of the map in a desperate attempt to rebuild your empire. And you go, and Grant and Wooly goes, uh, no. And then the guy goes, well, looky here, a villager. And of course he, uh, the villager gets killed and the guy says, I hate conquest. Well, in Age of Mythology, I love conquest. Because there are times where the AI just give up too freaking easily. And, um, and, uh, it's just a huge pain in the arse, you know, when they give up just like that. But of course, giving up AI is how I managed to years and years ago when Tree Dad and I had a battle, uh, on Age of Empires 2 between us, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, uh, we were playing a regicide map. Uh, on Italy, with the you know battle over Italy, and um, um, and I know I've told this story before, but it's a case of um, um, <laughs> you know he uh, my dad thought he was able to beat me, and he thought he still had his ally, and. It, uh, he thought he would still have to, you know, do my ally, who are, are we each had an AI ally, all right? And for whatever reason, both of our allies quit. Yeah, for whatever reason, they quit. And, um... So, um... I was able to take advantage of that to, um, on both occasions, both my allies' uh, resignation and then my dad's allies' resignation to, uh, to my advantage because um, it just made life uh, easier because, you see, I was on, uh, let me see here, I need to pull up a map of that particular uh, thing. Just a second here, guys. Let me get all this taken care of first. There we go. Let's see here. Um, hello. Hey, ONG. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Map. Age of Empires 2. All right. Here is, um, <clears throat> here's the map that we, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, that we fought on. So, uh, basically, um, I was over here on Corsica and Sardinia. My ally was right down here in what, a little bit of North Africa here. My dad was over here. 
And my dad's ally was right here. So basically, um, excuse me, what happened was, um, um, my dad, you know, it's at some point my ally surrendered. And so, um, you know, he had left the game, essentially. My, my AI ally. And so I was busy, you know, chugging along, trying to get over here to, you know, be able to come in and deal with my dad and deal with his ally. And so my dad just starts pounding the poop out of me. And I was like, well, he knows where I am right now. My ally has surrendered. Um, so we'll go, I'll go down here to this bit here in North Africa. Um, um, and base there. And so I started moving my forces over whilst at the same time resisting my dad as best I could. And eventually it got to the point I moved my king, moved my relics down there. I had like two or three relics, maybe four. I don't remember how many. But basically I got myself moved down here and sort of started to fortify. Say, so, okay, if he's going to be a complete arse and um, try to get me while I'm trying to get myself built up, um, um, you know, I'm going to just, you know, fortify. So I start bashing on his allies, start wearing him down a little bit. But my dad also comes and starts bashing on me. So at some point, um, you know, I was start starting to get desperate. I was starting, you know, go down here to this corner down here. And I was like, geez, Louise, um... It's just going to be a huge pain in the arse if he just keeps wailing on me like this. And so uh, at some point, I was able to realize, I got up here and looked around. It's like, oh, good. This uh, this area here west of uh, west of the Alps is going to be my salvation. So and by this time, I was very, I was practically out of resources. So I was using my relics, what I could, to get the resources I need. I was able to transport my king and my relics up up here, you know, get a villager, transport my king and relics, and start rebuilding up here. And I was at that thought, I tried to go through here, and I thought, eh, he's got that too fortified. And by that time, I figured that his, uh, his king was down here, and so I did some reconnaissance, and um, he, um, his king wasn't too defended. His king was not too defended. So, um, I was like, this is an opportunity to tune to kick him in the arse. So that is what I did. I assembled with what resources I had, and I've been able to get myself rebuilt back up. I assembled my forces, went around, literally voyaged all the way around Italy, landed down here, set my troops up here, and, um, literally kicked his arse so let me go ahead i'm gonna put a link to this thing in chat zoom Boop. there we go all right so yeah my my dad literally paid for that by um being too confident that he could kick me in my arse in my tree arse as um, as it turned out, of course, I went and kicked him in his arse. <laughs> so yeah, that that is one of the better uh, games I've had to uh, had the opportunity to um, play in, at least with uh, my family and all that. All right, let's get up back up topside, and we're going to continue to work here on the upper works of this area, on this side. Oh, yeah. I used to keep track. I may have it somewhere. I'm not sure if I do. I may have a record of uh, the battle the in uh yay yes yeah, more diggy diggy 
Well, in this case, uh, free, free, spacey, wacy. But yeah, I think I may have somewhere. I'm not sure if I do, of course. So, uh, um, do I? I don't have a shovel. Dum dum. But um. Yeah, I've never really tried to design my own data pack, so I I really can't help you in that part, Marbles. So, if you want to know, um, let's see, uh, should have a command here. Let's see, it should be. Yeah, let's try this again. God, what in the bloody blazes is my command? I feel like a complete dum dum. Uh, commands, there we go. Hello. Where in the blue? I know I got it. That was it. Duh. There we go. I couldn't remember the name of the uh, command. It's just that, you know, it's, it's not one of those ones that I have, you know, ingrained into my tree brain memory. Fireballs, you have one job. It's called spreading the word of farts. <laughs> yes, you know who I'm picking on. Pick up all the loot. Yes, spread the word about arts. I mean, fart. Da 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 da, tongue tied, tongue tied. It's called for. Uh, 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 yeah, I gotta look it up. I don't remember the. I don't remember the thingy. Uh, hello, hello. Come on, where is it? That's it. That's it. Man, cat, you butts. And yes, I got Quirky's permission to use that. So yes, I have immortalized Quirky in my own stream. She gets... <laughs> Guess what, Vervals? I reject your reality and substitute in. Yay for wearing Quirky shirt! <laughs> Alright, there's that. Felt like a dum-dum not picking that up. Duh. Be Quirky. Be very quirky. All right, let's pick up our stuff to see. There's my shovel. There's my shovel. All right. Why am I trying to get up that that way? I'm I'm being a dum dum. Jeez, Louise! White cat, you are a butt. Why can't you butt? Uh. <laughs> purple. Purple. Don't you mean purple? 
Believe it or not, purple is tree speak for purple. Gosh darn it, white cat. He can't, he's not, he's, he's, he's got to fly up his butt. White cat. He's got to fly up his butt. Let's see here. That's right. I cannot, White Cat cannot make up his bloody feline mind. He wants in and then out. He wants in and then out. Jeez Louise, White Cat! This is why I need to have a cat door on my door so that he could come in and out as he wants to and I don't have to worry about getting up. All right, let's see that brings that up so uh, yes I do yes I do <laughs> I can testify that yes I do make a sound Barballs, don't test your luck, man. Don't test your luck. Ow, that hurt. Yeah. There we go. Otherwise, I will pull out a booping boop of destiny, and I will uh, make you be make you be booped. Yeah. Come on, Twee. There you go. Yeah. Dum dum. You want fuds? Well, get up and go get some fuds. I'm not going to stop you. Go get fuds, dude. Yeah. Do it. Barballs, don't make me pull out the booping stick of destiny and super boot you on you the snoodle. Late din din, eh? There we go. All right. <clears throat> Head back up here. Come on. These guys, come here. All right, I need to go double check the other side here to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, remind myself. So let's see, it was two out and then right here. So that is three. First, gonna go ahead here. There's the tree. You don't want to go. Uh, no need to. Go, no need to have splatception. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it felt good. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Ooh. Do you, uh, just out of curiosity, ONG, do you uh, add any, uh, do you add like butter or salt or garlic or anything like that to your uh, mashed taters? Just asking out of curiosity if you add anything special.
gotta go back downstairs. Oh, cool! I wasn't sure if you added anything special, so, um, that's why I had to ask. Alright, so let's see, it was... Oh, wait, duh. Not that one, eh? Apartment of duh. Those guys in the middle. Make up some more what's it? So uh, <clears throat> chiseled uh, nether brick. Uh, yeah, chiseled nether brick. Do there we go. That <laughs> guess what? I need more. I need more. I'll just make a half stack for uh, future use. There we go. Alright, let's put in our chiseled uh, um, stone brick now. You got me thinking there, ONG, of. Um, oh, yes! Yes! That is awesome looking. Look at that. All we need to do is just move the clocks and. Uh, yeah, look at that. It, it it keeps it open, but still adds a little bit of artistic uh, ability and sort of helps keep things fun. Because, I mean, look at this. These guys are literally in line with um, the edges, so that makes them... It's perfect. I like. Good job, Tree. Good job. You used your brain place. So anyway, um, ONG, you're making me think of um, a place I use called uh, Penzi's Spices. They're a U.S.-based um, spice company, spice distribution company. And um, um, Part of what they do is they also offer spice mixes as part of their um, their stuff. So uh, let me see here. Let me pull that out. Um, I'm not sure if they'll ship to Europe. Let's see here. There's the site, the main site, and um, let's see, um, because this particular salt I've had, um, let's see here. Aha. Uh -huh. I've had, I've got, let's see, here it is. Get this, is it? Okay, those are, um, <clears throat> ONG, those two salts I just posted, uh, the um, uh, Forest uh, Smoky and the Forest Spicy, those are some good salts. Um, the Smoky I have found goes well with um, uh, doing like uh, eggs, if you know, if you've got like scrambled eggs sort of thing. 
Um, goes well with that. And the spicy, uh, and it also can go well with the, um, with, um, taters, but I find that the, um, the spicy do goes very well with, uh, mashed potatoes as well. Like I said, I don't know if they, um, if Penzi uh, ships abroad, but uh, to uh, to Europe, but they might. So um, let's see, let's get our clocks moved. Actually, they go better on the insides now that I think about it. Oh, jeez, white cat. That white cat has got definitely got some sort of fly up his butt cat mode enabled. But I just uh, put him underneath my blankets. He's settling down, so hopefully he'll be a lot calmer. So, or at least that's my hope. Yeah, this this feels awesome. It, it it doesn't detract too much. It actually enhances the. Uh, the appearance and um, yeah look at this this feels good it doesn't detract too much and it, it adds to the um, to the system so anyway ONG um, if they do ship uh, do ship to Europe uh, I hope uh, you might be able to get those to uh, if those uh, salts sound interesting to you, I hope that uh, they'll um, add some flavor to your um, to your uh, to your kitchen. Let's see here. I need to get uh... and thank you, uh, Anons V. I I know I butchered that. I'm, if you don't mind, I'm just going to call you Ani, if that's okay with you. Uh, just to, so I don't have to butcher stuff. Let's see here. I'll put the dirt there. Thank you for the host. Let's see here. Get on up here. So, um, so yeah, we're basically going to now take uh, the... Um, um, these two areas here out and um for uh our construction project so let's go ahead here there we go there we go oh bloody gravel Bloody frickin' gravel. So this is where having, oh, not quite like that. Anyway, we'll probably, at least on this side, I know we're gonna have to take some of that back out, actually, so. No, one step at a time. And thank you there, Ani, for the follow. Welcome to the Tree Grove. For a moment there, I thought I was going to fall down back on my own stuff. <laughs> Tree is being silly. Up, oh, coal. Coal. Get this coal. Yeah. We're, we're definitely on this side. We'll most likely be taking some more of this stuff here out. So, uh. One step at a time, though. One step at a time. It's a case of you know you don't want to don't want to be over ambitious and try to. Uh, there are some things that are worth trying to guesstimate in terms of building a smelter like this. 
Though installation of specific materials is not one of them. Alright, let's see here. Um, I'm going to double check the other side while I'm thinking about it. We should be able to get to the edge. Like over here. Yes, yes. You guys said OCD check. This is exactly what I want. We're gonna we're gonna be taking the uh, the end to just like this on the other side. On the other end, I mean. Blah, blah, blah. So what we can do to prevent any uh, dum damage. Go ahead and we'll pick up any uh, debris that we can. There we go. What we can do is uh, we'll cut right here. See, this way I know where the end will be. This way I can't complain to myself about, hey, tree over dead stuff. There we go. See, now knowing where that goes, it's a good thing. I can't complain at myself that way. Let's get all this stuff out of my freaking hot bar. Oh, come on. Tree, you know how to do this. Or at least in theory, you should know how to do this. <laughs> yeah, what we'll uh, essentially be doing is uh, going to that little cut, which is, of course, right here. Whoa, excuse me. A lot of dirt. Lots of dirt. Yes, this should be, yep. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little bit here out so that we don't have to worry about it. So once we um, so once we get um, both sides cleared out, the overheads, we're going to start to work over here on the cobblestone side, and we're going to start to put in the silo system for storage. And I'll I'll get into the detail, more of the specific details into that here in a bit. But basically, what we're going to be doing is. Um, Sort of like in the prior smelters, um, what we're going to be doing is um, going to be having a silo system where a minecart will run along the track over a hopper. Hello there, Iron. I'll come get you here in a sec. There's a torch over here, for, so I'll see you. Department of Dust sort of thing. Um, um, bloody gravel. Bloody frickin' gravel! Now I gotta fill in all the roof stuff. And yes, I know. I'll probably be taking it out, but like I said, one step at a time. Let's go ahead here. We'll get some more fill-in materials in terms of the andesite here. And uh, I see that I see you there. Block of diorite, blocks of diorite. But um, basically, what we're going to be doing is um, setting the system up 
for a uh, both storage and rapid distribute this da, da, da. I'm getting tongue tied again rapid distribution basically what will happen is um, with the with the use of a minecart system we'll be able to deploy um, Uh, for future use and future needs, um, a, um, a system where um, more bloody gravel! We'll be able to deploy a system where um, the um, the, 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 the cobblestone can be rapidly distributed to the um, um, more gravel. What is it with gravel in this area? Bloody annoying. Be able to rapidly uh, distribute the cobblestone to uh, where to the furnaces to be smelted down, and um, and um, once the uh, mine carts have done their thing, they will be of course able to um, do their thing and. Uh, um, Get the job done. There we go. Made it to the other side, finally. Finally! Put some of this bloody gravel to use there. to use over here. Two words. Go away, boosh. Less gravel, more space. And more iron. And I am definitely not going to complain about having more iron. I know I'm going to need it for my smelting. Or to help build up the smelter here. I just I've never liked iron in the. I'm, I love iron in this game. I've never liked gravel. I love iron. I'm so freaking tongue tied right now. Once we get uh, this top area up here cleared out, we'll go ahead and take out the floor, and then we'll do uh, the same sort of thing over on the other side, where we'll uh, take out the um, this intermediate zone, and then we'll uh, take out the uh, the floor. As I've said before, it's, you know, more often than not, it's just one of these. One steps at a time thing. At some point, I'd really like to, you know, build a European style castle of some kind. That would be a good reason to have a, um, You know, a genuine large smelter. That is to say, I think a smelter that would be worth the time and expense of our resources. Oh. There we go. Fixed it. Of course, I could probably also do it with a smaller smelter, too, you know. And, um, 
It'd be a case of deciding, you know, uh, how I would, you know, what I would want to build and what sort of style would I want to build, um, how detailed, etc. You know, that, that would be uh, a great project to have a smelter for. Even if it's just, say, you know, a two block smelter. That's what I'm definitely thinking about for um, the Mark 8 is, uh, is a two block smelter. So instead of having three blocks like the Mark 7 or the four blocks like uh, the big boy, you know, it's it's just a uh, plain old, uh, oh, we got dirt, duh. Forgot we had dirt. Department of Death! <laughs> but, um, yeah, just basically, you know, use uh, use the smelter to build the castle and Build up all the stone brick. You know, this, just to get a stupendous amount of stone brick. Ooh, hello there, Cole. I'll come back for you here in a sec. I'm gonna have to go fix this pick pretty here, pretty darn soon here. we could get the better of course we already got a ton of coal already so I'm not gonna worry too too much about um, needing to smelt off huge amounts of uh, stuff but at the same time we still have the capacity for when such a need arises probably the same coal patch we're just looking at there Definitely gonna have to go fix this pick. There we go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go get this pick fixed while I'm thinking about it. Actually, or could we? I think we'll be able to actually get this area dug out, and um, we can then go fix the pick. Ah, that was smart. That was real smart. <laughs> We're almost there. It's definitely starting to open up space. I mean, look at that. It's pretty. You can see all the open space. Plenty of room to be able to build up the uh, the redstone control systems and uh, storage systems and and all the stuff we're going to need to build up this smelter. Gosh darn, I'm thinking about Scratlantis from Cotton Ice Age Continental Drift again. At least I recall it's Continental Drift. I'd have to double check. How Scrat, you know, he, uh, you know, he causes the destruction of Scratlantis and he, uh, in his quest for nuts. You know, like, you know, when you know, when you know of a famous actor and they've got a very, you know, distinctive voice and, you know, you can hear it, it was like, like, I know who that is. 
sort of like a Tony J. He um, definitely had a very distinctive voice. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, probably gonna do some more smelter work on, on Monday's episode. Just a guesstimation. What I'll probably do is, um, uh, do, uh, do what I can to make some, uh, prep work on the, uh, and do some, do a lot of work on the prototype. So that I can bring it to where I could say, "All right, guys, we don't we don't just have a work in progress prototype. We're gonna have a um, a genuine smelter uh, prototype that is finally finally done." And um, you know, be able to go through with all that and have a. show you sit um be able to show you guys at some point say okay here finally guys here's the finished uh here's the finished deal yeah going back to vo characters um yeah tony j is definitely one of those uh folks that you know he's got a very distinctive voice and um one of those sorts of characters the moment you know he starts speaking it was like hey it's tony J," sort of thing and um oh. and um I know that uh, he played uh, several characters in Disney uh, films, uh, like he was, uh, um, God, what was his name um, in the uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame? I'm for, I know Judge Claude. That was it, Judge Claude. And uh, I know that uh, in his in his own way, owing that character. Um, very well suited to that uh, sort of role, and uh, he um, also played a um, Anubis in uh, Gargoyles, another Disney uh, sh a Disney show. Um, that's not, and that's got me thinking now of. Uh, Pharaoh Nero reminds me of one of my English classes I uh, had. There would be times uh, in school, there would be times where we'd, um, we'd get so far off topic that our teacher had to literally say, okay, guys, we need to get back on topic because we'd have, you know, the project we'd, you know, the assignment we had worked on, you know, was to do such and such. And, um, you know, write a paper or read something and write a short report about it or whatever. And, uh, and, um, he, um, you know, he, he required, you know, that we, uh, we had to get back on topic. Jeez, we're full up on, almost full up on cobble. Let's go ahead and make a, a dump here stuff there we go this is why we got this here these chests here Specifically for dumping out stuff. That's why I was like, I know I want to sort it now, but it's a case of with the work we're doing, we, uh, now is not the time. 
Now is not the time. So yeah, Tony J did some good voice work. You know, he's, he's obviously, you know, one of these people that, you know, an actor that can literally have, you know, it's, it's hard to believe, you know, somebody else playing that character, you know, whether it be a voiced character or uh, another character, or, you know, an IRL character, you know, and, um, you know, for uh, a live action film or series or whatever and you know it's one of these things i just love 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 about some of the people i've seen you know like like a better benedict cumberbatch as uh smaug that that was wonderfully cast for the hobbit it was wonderfully cast as cumberbatch is able to you know uh you know, obviously they had to modify his voice somewhat, but, you know, being able to uh, essentially employ is sort of a, sort of make him like a little bit like Tony J there for, in a way. And, um, you know, give him a very distinctive voice. And of course, you know, I like him as uh, Doctor Strange in the. Uh, oh, I forgot to do that. I dum dumbed. Let's go ahead and get stuff down there. Come here, wayward piece of cobble. Thank you. No, I'm thinking about, you know, Avengers Endgame again. Um, where um, Wong and uh, Strange are talking after they've gotten uh, folks to the battle scene, battle side, and, uh, you know, uh, Doctor Strange says, Is that everyone? And um, Wong goes and says, What you wanted more? Definitely one of those lol sorts of moments. We need two chiseled uh, quartz, so uh, I'll go quickly uh, dump stuff off. Yeah. Oh, we also need a fix. Make a fix. So we'll do that too. But yeah, that was one of my favorite bits is, um, what you wanted more? <laughs> very, very funny. Yep. Look at that. We're getting there. We're starting to get there. Now let's go ahead here. Let's gather up, uh, let's see here. Oh, ow. See, uh, somewhere, hopefully, I, sh I think I got some diamonds down here at this end of the, uh, um, the smelter here for mining. I, at least I recall I got some diamonds. Yep, I got some diamonds. Huzzah! <laughs> Drat, I was thinking, can I use the minecart? Drat, it's not here! You're just gonna take a stroll through the cemetery. That was always that's always one been one of my favorite bits of um Endgame is uh is you know when Strange shows up and uh and um you know, and Wong, he and Wong have that little 
short little talk there, and then um, stuff happens. Let's see here. And this, so we can get up. That one, let's see, we're in line there. Let's make OCD check. Yep. All right, so what we can do, we will sort of do a similar sort of thing what we did a bit ago with the other side there. Is that, um, carp out this little bit. Oh, hello there, Aaron. I can't get that out of my head is, you know, strange and long having a little thing there saying, is that everyone what you wanted more? I remember seeing it was uh, somewhere. I thought I saw somewhere a fan reaction to... Uh, the start of the battle, and um, don't remember if it's still up or not, but if it is, it's, hopefully it is. I'd have to go looking for it to find the right one. But anyway, um, people watching the, um, the film, they just went crazy. It was a similar sort of thing for me and my dad as well, as you know, when stuff started happening and things went crazy, we were like, oh! It was so cool when they did the time heist to uh, get all the stones they needed. All right. We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, I know it's... Tedious. If it looks tedious, it is. I'll put the torch up so I can see. But yeah, when um when um you know Falcon uh that is to say, Sam paged uh, Cap and said, uh, Cap, you read me? On your left. And then, of course, uh, Black Panther uh, and company showed up and it was like, yes, yes. Ah. It was so sad that Chadwick, um, God, what was his surname? Uh, I know it started with a B. Uh, let me check here. Bozeman. Chadwick Bozeman. God, it was so sad when he died last year. It was like, oh my God, did he have to die? Why? You know. Yeah, it was uh, cancer, wasn't it? Yeah. Colon cancer in 2016. Um, um, yeah. It was just so sad when Bozeman died. Because he was a good actor. He was a good actor. And uh, when uh, I got to see uh, got to see uh, the um, Black Panther movie, I was like, "That's good. He did he did a good job." Let's 
So, yeah, it's real, real sad that Bozeman passed away. Definitely, uh, definitely passed before his time. You know, one of those sorts of actors, you know, who passes before their time. And, um, oh, dirt. So long as it's not dirt, though. We don't need no derping. We need less derping. Less dum dumbing. <laughs> but yeah. It was it was real sad. Let's see how much coal we're we gonna get. Alright, let's quickly uh Dum dum do that. Don't do that. Oh, and more coal. Huzzah! More coal. Like that, dum dum. So it just makes me wonder, you know, how are they going to, how is uh, Marvel going to be able to, uh, you know, what sort of plan would they have for uh, to replace a key actor like that. Maybe uh, maybe his sister will become the new uh, Black Panther. I'm not sure if uh, not sure how Wakanda would uh, what 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 the yeah what Wakanda would have for their uh, secession. You know, it's just like any sort of movie is that there's a lot going on and you can only explain so much so and um, I'm suddenly thinking back to the um, um, it was, um, I think it was the uh, How It Should Have Ended uh, Infinity War video. Um, where um, uh, they talked about that sort of thing. And it was, um, you know, it's um, in terms of uh, how um, T'Challa, he goes and says, I literally just became the king of Wakanda. And how, you know, they, they deliberately go and, and uh, uh, of course, they had a new vision and, and uh, they had um, Scarlet Witch go and say, Thank you, Vibranium! <laughs> so, yeah, funny bit. Funny, funny bits. And um, part of it was either it was either yeah I think it was that same vid uh, Infinity War Hizzy where they had Thanos um, yeah it was that one where um, you know Thanos says you know both in the original in both Infinity War and of course the Hizzy. Um, you should have gone for the head. And then, of course, um, 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 Thor goes, yeah, I thought about that. But then I thought, yeah, the arm is good. And he goes, aw, oh, dang. And then, um, when Thanos is at the villain pub, you know, talking to the other villains, you know, like uh, Joker and uh, Palpatine and Voldemort and all them. You know, they, they just show him with a, uh, they show him with just a band-aid over his bone. 
You know, the rest of his, the wound is still there. It's just a little band-aid. I was like, oh my god, that is, uh, that is, you know, that is the typical comedic sort of thing to do. It's just, you know, show a, a little bit of a band a, a, a bitty band-aid set. Just over the bow. Just over the bow! <laughs> I forget, did I? I feel like a dumb dead. Let me make sure, yep. Sorry. For some reason, I thought I hadn't unmuted the game sounds for you guys. I was like, wait a minute. Am I just talking to myself without game sounds on? Because I know I'm hearing it in my headset. I feel like a dumb dumb sometimes. Tongue tied again. Of course, his brother, uh, or his cousin, uh, T'Challa's cousin, I forget his um, name off the top of my head, you know. He tries to take his throne in Black, T'Challa's throne in Black Pants of the movie. Um, you know, he says, you know, I'm here to stop the oppression and all that when he is actually the oppressor. You know, he says, you know, as an American, you know, I learned in America that we fight oppression. Of course, he was doing more to actually cause it. Not quite as smart as he thought he was. I forget, who played the... I'm forgetting, what, what, what was that guy's name again? Let's see... It was uh, Michael B. Jordan as uh, Ninjakata slash Eric Killmonger Stevens. The one, uh, Michael Bakari Jordan. Let's see, he was stored in a. Uh, was a Fruitvale Station. Uh. Creed. Yeah. Uh. I couldn't remember who played him, so. But yeah, maybe it'll be one of his, uh, sisters T'Challa's sisters well, uh, <laughs> excuse me but if I'm good <laughs> excuse me again that's no way to tell of course um, I do know I think it was um Uh, you know, for, um, uh, what's his face, uh, what's his face, who plays Iron Man, I'm suddenly blanking out, and I should know it, um, Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker. I was like, I was like, wait, did I just see Forrest Whitaker here? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Films. Robert Downey Jr. I was, I was like, how was I forgetting Junior Robert Downey Jr.'s name? I was like, yeah. 
I think it was because he sort of has uh, uh, had his t felt that it's his time to leave. So. Uh. And that's probably why they had a. Uh, if that is true, I'm uh, sure that's. But I think that's what that's what I'm recalling, or I think it's what his. Um, his goal is to you know is that uh, he felt that it was uh, Robert Downey felt it was time for it's time it's time for him to go. Uh, and leave. I mean, let's face it, he's been part of the MCU for 12 years. Or at least 12 years, 12, 13 years. At least. Probably like 13 or 14. And, uh, if he felt, uh, um, that it was time for, uh, him to depart, you know, if you feel it's time to go. Good thing we needed to uh, fix that, um, uh, fix our pick because that is allowing, of course, us to get uh, more XP uh, easier. Easier to get more XP to be able to fix it the next time. Gwyneth Paltrow as Pepper, you know, she was wunderbar as well. Of course, you know, I've always liked, uh, you know, as the Avengers start to assemble there in Endgame, you know, how it's like 2014 Thanos sees uh, and he starts to realize, oh boy, uh, this is not quite what I had planned. Of course, when he goes and gets uh, Iron Man's gauntlet and says, you know, I am inevitable and I am Iron Man. Tony replies, I am Iron Man. You know, it's a case of, uh, for Thanos, it's of course close, but no cigar. Let's go ahead here. We're going to clear this little bit of this area here out where we just took out all the doit and leave a small working uh, transit ledge here If you figure it's it's your time to go and leave because you feel that uh, it's your time to go and all, you know, just do it. Let's go ahead here. We're going to go ahead and pick up stuff and then we're going to go over to our storage bin and we're going to make a dump of our stuff. First, pick up everything here on the uh, up on all over in here so we can make sure we pick up everything. Let's make sure we didn't forget any uh, stuff here on the hoppers. It doesn't look like it. Of course, you know, when Cap looked so relieved when things started to finally go their way, you know. But all the cobble we got. 
We're going to have to sort it all, of course, but that is okay. That is a-okay. We got plenty of... We're soon going to have plenty of um, storage to um, deal with all the uh, stuff we're clearing out. Oh, I forgot to uh, look at that tree dum dum again. Need to take out this. Oh, well, nope, that worked. At least we're not having to go like all the way, like fall 20 blocks and have to work our way back up. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I felt good. You know, it's uh, when Falcon started calling Cap on the radio and, uh, you know, he um, he was like, oh, well, you know, Cap's look as, uh, as the metaphorical and literal Calvary started showing up. Um, um, he was just so, he just looked so freaking relieved, you know, of course, that's how they had to have him, uh, play, uh, the part is, you know, it's like, oh my god, the Calvary is here! The Calvary is here! You know, if I was in that sort of situation myself, that Cap was in, you know, I would be frickin' relieved, too. And I know I already said this, but it was so awesome when, you know, um, Cap was able to summon Molnir, so, uh, and, uh, I still remember when, um, Thor, during the time heist, uh, you know, was uh, able to call on the past Molnir, Molnir, and uh, and uh, he says, "Oh, I still got it." You know, he's you know obviously still able to, still worthy. I loved it in Age of Ultron where uh, they all try to. Um, when they all try, uh, lifting up, uh, Molnir and, uh, and of course nobody's able to lift it except for Thor. And he says, you know, it's, it's, a, you know, Tony says it's something like, uh, unless encoded with, um, Thor's from Prince, you can't pick it up. And then of course Thor goes and says, well, I have a better theory. Y'all, you, you guys aren't worthy. <laughs> so, you know, a <laughs> little bit of a comedic sense there, so. And, of course, that's the part when, that's the part when, uh, um, Ultron shows up in one of the, um, Avenger armor guy thingies the iron legion there we go he's having a momentary brain fart there he says no oh how could you be worthy and of course everybody's going tony what the heck You know, that would be a, something fun to have on Titan Quest, would be a, um, somehow that we could borrow Mjolnir. That would be something to have in that game. That would be awesome. I mean, we get the Adamantine Sickle of Kronos, so. You know, I, I still remember that. We were, um, I don't remember if it was, um, 
uh, it was either, the, I think it was uh, the actual main series on season series two of uh, LP Titan Quest where it happened. You know, I knew it was a thing. It was an item that you could get. You know, of course, I fought that fought that token several a number of times over the ow years and hadn't been able to get it, even uh, with anniversary edition. I'm not sure if it was in the original, uh, if you could pick it up like uh, that as in the original game or not. It's probably an anniversary edition sort of thing. I remember picking up and seeing it drop. I was like, oh my god! Oh my god! I knew this could happen! But I didn't know what happened today! Oh my god! And I'd have to go back and check my, uh, stuff over on the YouTube channel to see uh, see where, that's, where, where that vid was. Because I don't remember which uh, episode it was off the top of my head. I might check on our second break. There we go. All right, we are almost there. Huzzah! That's great. We'll just walk over. My cat is snoring underneath my blankets. You can hear him going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to go get that iron too. Don't be a dum dum tree. Go get the iron. Iron. Fill this stuff stuff here in. There we go. All right, the time has come. We can finally, finally start to work on the um, um, on the uh, cobblestone storage system here in the upper works. Uh, had to stretch there. So let's go make a deposit. There we go. All right, so let's see here. What we're gonna need first. Oh, hello. There we go. Wait a minute. Ooh, let's go make up. Let's go make up some more chests. Let's do that first. So we'll drop those guys off. Let's quickly head upstairs. We're gonna snag. Um. um some more. Oh, geez, it's raining, and we can only sleep at night. Well, I was seeing the uh, thing there, and it looked like it was just enough to be able to um, send us, <clears throat> excuse me, overnight to be able to um, have, um, da -da -da -da, be able to get rid of the rain. to keep uh, sounds off for a sec while we uh, go collect up all the wood, all the dark oak we got. Let's see here. Well, the thing I'm going to do make these some of these guys here into uh, chests already so as um Make it go sleepy by time now. There we go. And we can turn the sounds back on. Just 
snagging all these dark oak logs so that we'll have plenty of chests. I'm probably going to have to go over to the old tree farm and do some uh, tree farming. Ready? Splash! Get away from that moving water there so it doesn't drive me buggy, batty, whatever you want to. There, so I have a little bit more room. Oh, and I could Dum dum, deposit chest, department of dump. There we go. Most definitely help us out. Now all I wanted to do is watch uh, Endgame. Making me want to. I just want to watch Endgame, guys, but now is not the time. All right, there we go. That is a far, far, far better quantity of chests. All right, so let's see. Let's grab our work pick, our diamond axe. Grab a few more stacks of chests. Not all to do. And a fair number of stacks of hoppers. Now we get to go through the fun, fun, fun times of uh, of starting to install the hopper system. Now, so here's how this is gonna go. So as you guys can see, the uh, the way we got the hopper system here uh, in this setup, we've got hopper feeding into what will be the uh, the furnaces, then um, a chest on top of that, and of course a repeat of that uh, you know hopper chest on top of that. Um, the reason I did it like this was is uh, twofold. One, of course, is it saves making more hoppers, you know, because hoppers, you know, there's, you know, that's 32, 64, 96, you know, that's 96 extra hoppers. Um, well, that's actually uh, 192 extra hoppers, you know, with the two chests per one. So that's, you know, 192 extra hoppers worth of iron that I would have to use if I didn't use the chests. So it's the it's the cheap skate way of saving iron. But also also if uh, it's been um, helping as I've been mining I've been able to stow more uh, cobble in these guys as I've been getting the resources to be able to get to where we are. 
All right. And then, of course, actually, the third reason is that, um, which is in conjunction with the point I just made, basically, it saves, uh, it increases stowage ability. So, ooh, that's another thing we need. That is another thing we need. Let's, uh, you a second here, guys. Let's, we need to make a quick trip back over here to our supply station. We'll take the easy way. Ow. Mm -hmm. We need some rip. Because there is, there's going to be a system of how we do this. So, let's go ahead here. Oh, and we also need some building supplies, too. Um, let's get that all out of the way. All right. So first thing we're going to do is following the theme, following the pattern here, we're going to go up and down the smelter here on the cobblestone side. Because uh, what I want to do, at least on this side, is sort of keep the theme going. And um, this, sorry here. Tree brain is working. Tree brain is working. have to make an adjustment here sort of been planning on um, this here being a wall we might have to move it over here because of the way I'm thinking about stuff we'll have to also check the uh, the prototype let's go ahead here we're going to uh, I hate when I try to do something like that, you know, place it to where I am, and of course it all glitches out, so. Oh, wait, that's right. Leave that there. Department of Death. <laughs> and of course, right over here, it's going to be easy to uh, do so. Now, we will have a, uh, a roof as it were, in this area, but we'll worry about that here in a bit. Let's go and we're going to emplace the, um, another brick here. That hurt. Yeah, this just gives us a little bit of uh, space to be able to, you know, hop around on and build stuff up on it. So, um, there we go. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead here. Let's whip out our hoppers. Uh, let's begin over here on the far, on box three. That way we can sort of leave uh, um, stuff, uh, have stuff be good. There we go. And we're going to come over here to the other side. Come on. And we need to, there we go. I need to do something like that so I can be able to ease Louise. There we go. It's one of these things where, you know, hoppers can be so nitpicky 
about uh, how you get on top of one just to be able to place another, you know? As of course, like right here, it's fairly easy to do because we've got the uh, top of the central gallery arch to be able to um, stand on, whereas on the, the Ipsies, whereas on the uh, inside, over the uh, um, fuel bay, the fuel area, it's a lot harder to do such. As you see, we've already used up with this, with just this one bay um, block. That I don't know why I said bay. I'm obviously thinking about work. With this one block, we've already used up a stack of hoppers. So this is why I was trying to get so much iron, because I knew that once I start pl in placing hoppers like this, especially here on the cobblestone side. Um, Um, stuff's going to get messy. I mean, uh, sucked up. Sucked up real quick. It is messy in a way, I guess. So it's on top of these hoppers that we're in placing that the, um, Ow. that the distribution track is going to run on. So basically how this is going to work is, is that um, like with the um, Mark, um, with the Mark six, the big boy smelter, um, that one tested out the concept of a return system that uh, I had begun with the Mark V uh, Light Challenger. Whereas this, of course, is the Heavy Challenger Smelter. And um, let's see here. Let's make sure that we get a starter point right there too because it's just going to be easier while we're there so like with the um so yeah it was basically you know trying to the mark 5 tried to fix the errors of the mark 4 with the cobble distribution and that's of course what led me to the idea of the um return system to try it out to see how well it would work. And of course, you know, in the Mark VI, um, it was further improved upon uh, by featuring, you know, uh, right down here in this row of hoppers, uh, chests right here. Or maybe it was this guy. No, wait, it was, it was the hopper. Chests, not the hoppers. Da -da -da. That, um, we did see that the return trip with the um, did work to our strategic advantage. So that is why instead of having like on the other side, you know, if you go to let's 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 finish it. Don't get distracted, Tree. Don't get too distracted, at least. And we are going to have to take our break here in a moment. But, um, so instead of, like over here, um, basically how it's going to operate is each of these guys here on the non-couple side, um, basically it's going to come down one side, switch over, go back to the other, and then get go back up, fill up, come down, run back and forth, you know, in a circle. For these guys, for the cobblestone side, is, excuse me, it's going to be one track per. So it's going to be one side per. So on this side, we're going to have a bunch of minecarts. They're going to come down this side on the inside. 
and they're gonna go all the way out and they're gonna flip around come back here on the inside and then like as in with the um mark six we're gonna have a staggered um delayed start to the system to where they come down essentially fill in fill up and um and then be able to you know get filled up up there come down loop around go back to their stations fill up a little bit and come back down same thing with this guy basically the insides are the outbound and the outsides are the inbound inbound so you know the inside and in, referring to the uh fuel areas being the quote-unquote inside so again it'll go down go down this way flip around come back up have staggered stations so that we can have a delayed start then it'll come back down you know essentially loop around in giant circles so um let's go ahead here we're going to save in placing our track for the moment let's go ahead as uh, and take our second break i'm taking a look see here at the time of course and it's time to do such so yeah go ahead and stand up stretch go get something to eat go get something to drink use the restroom and i'll see y'all here in a few minutes
Okay guys, tree is back, so we're gonna go ahead, let's hop here into DOS action again. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'm gonna go ahead here and switch on to that. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so, I'm gonna go ahead here, let's, uh, we're gonna start laying the track. We're going to lay track only on the hoppers. We're not going to worry too, too much about the, um, um, setting up the, um, return or interconnections, uh, systems for now. And, uh. I just realized we don't have enough drag. I should have grabbed another stack. Well, we can always grab a, another stack. <coughs> Excuse me, on our way over. So, to the block three. I actually went and splashed some water on my face to sort of help uh, make me feel better. I was like, oh yeah, this helps. This helps. Excuse me. But it felt good. There we go. Now we can grab another stack of plane track here in a sec. So, um, What's going to be happening is uh, sort of the plan I have in my tree head. Um, based on what I can, based off what I can remember from the smelter prototype that I've been working on, is um, I'll show you guys here in a sec. Let's go get third stack track, plane track. Okay. There you are. Huzzah. Huzzah. So, to my recollection, we'll, we'll double check the prototype in a sec, but um, to my recollection, uh, what we're going to be having is that this right here, the hopper, uh, the, 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 the chess here in between the hoppers are going to serve as the access. And that on top and then right here where my where my character's head is is going to be a second or there are going to be two hoppers so one top one to the side and then of course the track here is going to um, be um, placed to where essentially what we're trying to do is keep the keep the mobile mine carts as full as possible and that way because the, sm the way the smelter is going to be done is that we're going to be with uh, with the sorting system the smelter sorting system being that way the fill input for the um, for the cobble is going to be from that end so it's going to march this way so um, with each side, it's going to have its own separate storage system. So then, so instead of having you know just two like I normally would, I'm going to essentially have four. And so, with four sucking up the same amount of cobble instead of two, having a system that can deposit quickly refill the minecarts as they come down on. After, you know, they'll fill them up on their way down, but then, of course, they'll start getting emptied on their way up, but getting refilled on their way back up. So, you know, I'm trying to be more efficient in that regard. That's uh, the thing I like to do is find out how to, you know, come up with an idea of, you know, or take an idea, find a way to improve it, or otherwise make it better. And by doing it like this, 
instead of having you know one mine cart, you know one group of four mine carts serving the whole system here and taking forever by essentially dividing the work at the expense of lesser amounts of cobble, um, the same amount of cobble getting spread thinner is going to be worth it to make the work easier for the smelter. So, uh, let's quickly here, we're going to go over here to our test world. Uh, like I said, I've been doing some work here on the, the prototype. So basically, this is what I was. This is basically what I've been talking about. Um, as you see, it is a system where a minecart will run under, heading one direction. This is, of course, the the head of the smelter. So they come in on this track. Should be this track. Yeah, it's this track right here. Yeah, it's the insides that are the feeders, the outsides that are the returns. So, yeah, basically they come through, they drop down, go out this way, they go out, come back, and as you see, they get fed from both sides. So, um, hmm, what I am current have been debating is, is, um, a, um, what I'm currently thinking of is um, taking, trying to save a little bit more in hoppers, taking these guys, this row, making, instead of facing down like this, putting a, a hopper beneath this guy, but still have this guy feed into this guy, have a single chest right here, a double right here, and um, yeah, this is right over the um, the light. So um, um, yeah, we're gonna make that change. So um, yeah, like I said, the, this is the whole reason for having prototype is so that I can start to get my mind wrapped around how I want to have stuff built. Of course, we are going to have to make a change right here, but uh, that is going to be okay. But, you know, now that I look at it, think about it, I think if we do it like that, that'll just be, we're just going to be shooting our, I'm just going to be shooting myself in the roots in terms of getting the thing filled. What I could always do is if that, if need be, and I highly doubt I will have that need be, um, I can always retrofit the smelter to uh, need to have that. I think we'll just keep it the way it is, the way we got it right here, because um, it's less, we're going to be spending more hoppers now that I think about it. We're going to essentially be spending more hoppers. And I just really don't think we can really... Um, I just want to keep my... Try to reduce the expenditure there. So... And sort of see how I've got the, um, the system here. And like I said, this is the prototype. There's already been changes. You know, the, like I said, the prototype serves as the means of getting stuff into my head that I've got in my head into the game so I can at least start to think about how am I actually going to do this sort of thing. So let's quickly head on out here. Back to our 116 world. All right. We are going to have to have, though... Take out this wall, and we'll do the same on the other side, just to uh, have some fun. Um, so let's go ahead here. Now we are going to have to take out the wall, back it up a block, so that um, I'll be able to get to it. Um, 
see here. Let's go ahead and we're going to quickly So let's go ahead here. We'll uh, do these guys like this. And always do a little hop like that so we can uh, get up here. Let's go ahead here. We'll take the wall out right here. And take care of this so that oh we got some cold there we'll we'll get that I'll get that later see I figured I would probably have to take out this wall which is why I went to the trouble of uh, putting a marker block on the other side of the glowstone so see a little bit of effort is paying off a little bit of preventative measuring has uh, paid off It's one thing I've uh, read about uh, that's coming up in 117 is that they're going to remove the the p splotches of uh, you know like diorite, andesite, and granite from um, uh, 117, and they're going to rework them. So that'll be a good thing, I think. Check this how far. Did it over here at the top. All right. Just what I wanted to make sure. There we go. All right. This will actually... Uh, do here is uh, install a um, a hot block so I can uh, hop over. Let's go ahead here. I'm going to install the uh, these guys right here. Let's make sure none of them have got any uh, unauthorized blocks. Give it the quick OCD check. Yeah, yeah, me. Nope. I guess we're gonna have to put one like that. Double check these guys right quick. They're good. Ah, not you. Come here. I hate when I do that to myself. Let's see. Let's get rid of the um, stuff we do need. These unnecessary, uh, what's it, blocks. There we go. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, over the weekend, what I'm going to do, let's go ahead here and we'll uh, install a uh, access thing right here, too. So what I'll do over the weekend um, sort of deal is um, let's quickly, actually, let's do use this to our advantage. Uh, not you. There we go. Ew, I hate when I do that. Ew. Come on, tree. You can do this. Ow. I just shot myself with the roots again. Department of Depth. 
Putman is dead. Let's see here. There we go. There we go. So what I'm going to do, uh, as I was trying to say, what I'm going to do over the weekend is um, do what, uh, a lot of, of what I can to um, work on the prototype. Get it to a further sense of um, owl. Oh, not owl. A further sense of completion. And why am I going the long way when I could have taken the short way? Silly twee. You had a access point right there. So yeah, I'll do what I can to um, work and build up the smelter prototype. And I will also um, do what I can to finish installing the hopper silo. Not hopper silos. Cobblestone silos. I'm just so tongue tied right now. Maybe that water will help um, me uh, help me out. Let's go over here. Here. Let's go over here to the other side. And we will make a short access uh, thing on both sides. Oop, not like that. That way we can... Uh... Yeah, me, you silly hopper. Yeah. What I really need to do is this. Yeah, Jesus. I'm short two hoppers. Hoppers. There's one. Hello. And there's the other. And make sure I did the same thing on the other side. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Let's make sure we anti dum dum. Anti dum dum. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Give ourselves a uh, little bit of a. There we go. Up. Oh. Not quite like that tree. There we go. There we go. Let's get these guys out of the way for the moment. Yank out our hopper supplies. Yeah, hoppers are uh, finicky. They are definitely finicky in placement. They're all pointing in the right direction. Yep. And do that right there so that we uh, can use this guy as a base. course pop her up here above the track I know that we um I wanted to have, as part of this, a, um, a service area on either side of the um, hoppers, so we'll double check that here in a second. Double check the, uh, the space here, because I know I want to place it to where, um, basically, um, <clears throat> Excuse me. 
We, uh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Let's see here. So basically, what we'll do is yank out a uh, stone brick here. What we'll do is, um, we'll make this our, um, don't do that tree, don't be a dum dum. We'll make this our, um, here, double dum dum. There we go. Um, we'll make this our, um, area where, um, at least here on the bottom, we can at least check the, um, the, um, these areas. And, um, you know, from down here, the lower part of the, um, from the fueling area. And then up here is where I'll be able to come in and double check the, um, both. Because, essentially, you know, I want to be able to walk up here and double check, um, you know, the, um, the hoppers as needed, you know. Have maintenance access. There we go. Maintenance access. And this will also help us be able to build stuff up too. So without having to worry about go, going splat. I don't know about you guys, but in this game, I hate it when I go splat. Especially when that splat results in a true splash of uh, goods getting thrown everywhere, you know? All right. There we go. We should have, should be able to hopefully uh, hop up, maybe. Nope, nope, we won't. But what we can do, we, um, what we can do, at least, is, uh, oh, that's an idea. Tow those guys out right quick. We'll need some sort of access to uh, stuff here. So what we can do is essentially something like this. Tear those guys out right quick. There we go. There we go. See? And all I need, all I'll need to do is just get uh, like a pair of stairs and we can hop up here. And there we go. See? See? Coming up with uh, the simple answers to be able to serve us the schmelter. Ah! That was smart. Come here. There we go. Let's go ahead here. Let's go to the other side. And we'll still be able to access like that. Huzzah! Tree is smart. He is using his brain place. Like I said, it's uh, it's starting really up here that we really start to get um, these lilies. I hate when I do that. Um, um, I'm going to do that so I can keep that there. And now my OCD is going haywire. Yep, yep, yep. I got it like that. Huzzah! All right. So now we can finally start to do our good stuff. So what we're going to do, and like I said, uh, I'm going to do, um, as I said, I'm going to try to do as much as I can on um, um, ah, it shouldn't be like that. There we go. That's better. Uh, I'm going to do what I can over the weekend, aside from um, design work, to go ahead and finish off the cobblestone silos here so that we can have those done. Because, like I said, on Monday I want to do... Um, I want to start doing some work over on the non-cobblestone side. And then, of course, we'll be able to, as a result, uh, be able to do more work on this side. So it's all the, all the point now of trying to say uh, eeny, meeny, miny, 
No. Which one of you does doth know which? Hello, I want my chest back. Give me my chest back. There you are, you little fatty. Let's see here. I'm going to quickly yank out these, uh, what's this again? Blocks. So is that, um, that's an idea. This is an idea. Temporary scaffold. Yep. Yep. Dum dum. All right, let's go ahead here and to do essentially do the same sort of thing on this side. Yep, again, you're going to be crouching. Yeah. Dum dum. Oh, wait. Dum dum. Twee done goofed. Twee done goofed. Yes, he has. Yeah, but that little block there also helps us out because, uh, okay. Give him to daddy. Uh, no, you you stay in my hot bar. My inventory. Let's see, it was... We'll do the same thing for these guys. Create the... Um, access... Uh, what's it? Dum -dum. So yeah, um, probably uh, over the next few days, over the weekend, um, I'm definitely going to have to lift up the, uh, the roof, the ceiling, to be able to, uh, ow, aside from falling, <laughs> aside from falling, Um, be able to, um, yeah, geez, Louise, that's two hop, that two hoppers, two chests I gotta go looking for now. Jeez Louise, tree. You and your, uh, dyslexic twig fingers. Yes, sir. I gotta quickly go use the restroom. Sorry about that, guys. Ah. All righty. Let's go ahead here. And uh, see here. Which of you bad boys was it? Yep, there you go. There's one. And this is really starting to feel like a smelter now, guys. Oh, wait. Was it this side or was it the... I think it was the ones on bottom. This is why we have access... Try to have as uh, practical access as possible to the smelter. 
Uh, they put things in a situation where um, you can check them. Come on, where in the bloody blazes are you? Yeah. Still short one. I hate when I do this. Was it the other side? Might have been using scissors. Let's check. OCD. DCO. OCD. Come on. Where in the bloody blazes? Which one does it go? You see, this is what I was talking about. Come on. What I was talking about right here, having uh, access to the... Up uh, oh, there it is. There it is. He's like, I knew I lose, lost uh, two chests, so... Let's quickly... Uh, um, over on the east side, we're going to quickly go ahead and build this up. <coughs> Excuse me, but it felt good. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. Huzzah. Without more hoppers. Oh. Chess put the axe away is what I meant to say. This, that's a dum-dum. Silly twee. Need it facing to the track, not to the stone. Alright. Let's go ahead here. We're quickly going to do this. And we'll also do that. And we'll also do this uh, at the same time for both sides and then of course uh, let's yank back out our uh, stone brick now we will have a moment right here where we're gonna have to worry about the uh, this guy right here let's go ahead and bring this guy up to right there up across, save some trouble. We'll do a little trick like this. Oop, not like that tree, and also not like that. There you go, you fixed it. Huzzah. Oop. I do not mean to access that offer. All right, now that we got this up and running, we can essentially come up and do it like this. Make it easier on ourselves. Use our brain places. We need to get some more stone brick, methinks, because I don't think we're going to have enough to be able to get across, have uh, fully enough to be able to get across, so... That was a dum-dum. Tree, do yourself a favor and stop misplacing blocks. Stop losing them in the hoppers and, and all that jazz. 
<laughs> All that does just happens to be the name of one of the DLCs for City Skylines. <laughs> How did I do it on the other side again? I know I went one past, or was it two past? It was just the one. Just the one. Both sides. Access to both sides. Hello there, white cat. You fiendish feline who is a destructor. I won't worry about the middle just yet. Mostly because uh, we're gonna. I'm, I still gotta work, do some uh, design work on the prototype for that. Dude. Now, did I do it like that over on this side? I forget. No, I didn't. Or did I? No. No, I didn't. Tweed done goofed again. Tweed done goofed again. Oh, why does he have to goof again? He is being a goof again. Uh, why can't, why can't, why can't, why couldn't you have gotten up when I went to the little trees? Silly white cat is, of course, being, <clears throat> excuse me, a bud. All right. So, see, we are, like I said, I'm going to need more. Some more stone uh, brick. So, let's go get some. Boom, let's put away the, um, what's it, it's, uh, another break. <clears throat> Excuse me. Back up to the side. We've gotten a lot done on the smelter today. Huzzah. There. So yeah, that's where um, I think what we'll do, or a thing we can do, is um. Is uh, do a little something like this so that we um, can there we go. So basically, um, at some point, well, I gotta leave this end, at least this end uh, undone. But um, at some point, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to come in and have like a. Um, system here where um, like I uh, have a um, like part of the circuit like show up here or we'll do that and we'll just fix it like that I'll just deal with an odd block but um, we're gonna have to install the return install the necessary redstone circuitry because of how compact 
this area is um, with hoppers and all that. We're going to have the tracks in this area receive um, oops these, uh, we're going to have the tracks in this area receive um, da -da -da -da. Uh, redstone uh, command signals instead of having detector rails because you know if I have, you know, detector rail here and there, it's going to trump. Well, it's undoubtedly going to screw with the, um, uh, the hoppers. So both, you know, these guys and these guys and maybe even the ones up here. But, um, so that is why we're going to, um, not worry about, um, the, um, the system in such a capacity because uh, you know with the use of detector rails and all that it's because we um, we need to have um, uniformity and so that is why I'm going to be willing to put in the necessary circuitry to help run the smelter in this regard And so that is part of the reason why I need to, um, to do what I see what I can do over the weekend to um, try and um, get a lot more of the smelter done. But um, the prototype is virtually at the point with me installing the... Um, the um, item sorter it is ready as soon as I get that done and get the track set up um, both the um, the um, regular track both the um, distribution tracks and then the tracks that will take in material from the smelter itself and return it to, you know, any surplus materials. Take that material and return it to the sorter for appropriate sorting to be able to um, have that stuff do its work. So. That is at least the plan. So, you know, it's it's a case of, you know, like I said, this my smelters, you know, the Mark IV was the last purely, quote-unquote, simple of the Mark IV-X series, which included the, four, uh, the Mark IV, the one, and the 4.1, the 4.2 to 4.3 um, was the last purely simple smelter. Of course, that smelter had me doing a lot of uh, running around as well. And, um, which is, of course, the, um, the, um, I'm not sure if impetus is the right word for that. It was the start of the... Ooh, that's right. We need to take out uh, the wall. I'll, I'll do that off camera. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the uh, the wall bit off camera. All right. Oh, geez. Hoppers! You see, I knew this was going to be expensive. I knew this was going to be expensive. Ah, jeez. White cat, why? White cat, you are a butt. Yes, yeah, it's it, guys. I 
I tell you guys, I'll tell you guys, Wildcat is just good at being freaking butt. He is just good at that. He is good at being a butt. Let's get another uh, couple stacks of hoppers. This is really starting to feel like a smelter now. Now that I've been able to put some time into it. I want cat. Meow. Meow yourself. Is he, he, he all you want is attention. You are an attention meter. You just love attention. There you go. Come on. Like I said, guys, what cat? He's uh he's an attention meter. He's an attention meter. All right. Let's go back to what we were working on before White Cat decided to be a butt and interrupt us. So I'm gonna get the uh, brick, stone brick there out of my hot bar. Hoffer's place. So yeah, over the weekend, I will. Um, what I will do is, uh, as I've said, I will do a smelter, the prototype smelter. I will uh, um, proceed with um, getting it uh, built up to where I'll have a much better idea of how I want to, the, the return tracks here laid out and hopefully we'll be able to um, be able to put those guys into action at some point and of course I will also uh, do what I can to finish up on the um, cobble storage system here that will of course help us out tremendously when it comes to our cobble storage system. And um, get that stuff. Uh, hopefully, uh, if I can get it finished, I will at least do what I can to try to start um, bringing over um, what I can in terms of cobble and putting uh, the... Um, cobble here into the appropriate silos. So yeah, part of the system and the way it's going to have to work is I'm going to have to actually, as I said, I'm going to have to have four feeds for um, for the uh, cobblestone system and it's actually going to be the more complex of the two but I'll be able to rectify four feeds in um, to just two here for the other side, which will be a good thing, which will be a good thing. So let's uh, let's go ahead here. Need to go ahead and make up. Let's summon up our stone brick. Um, let's see here. Did I start off? Yes, I did. What we'll do is, uh, on each side, we'll um, start off a uh, a, um, a block so that we can hop up, hop, hop up and down on our chest here as needed. Yeah, basically we now have the capacity to stow, not just merely on the uh, hoppers themselves, um, above the uh, furnaces themselves for our cobblestone, but we'll also we also have the capability now, huzzah, 
of um, stowing up here. Of course, like I said, we're gonna I'm gonna have to do some clearing uh, stuff up here for the um, cobblestone side, definitely. Ah, dum dum. Oh, where'd you go? Ah, pff, that's why I was like. It went over to the other side, and I was like, wait a minute, where's my number on? It should be even. Oh. Duh. Dum dum. Duh. Let's look ahead here. Ta da. But yeah, we'll, we're gonna, there's still going to be a butt ton of. Uh, cobble we're gonna have to worry about but um we are getting our smelter here to the point to where it can really ouch really start to automate stuff or at least uh start improving the capacity to ow start improving it to where we can get automate it ah i hate when i do this Department of Duh. Yeah. Yeah. Dum dum. Tree, do yourself a freaking favor and stop being a freaking dum dum. You know how to play the game better than this. Or at least in theory, you ought to know how to play the game better than this. There we go. There we go. Now, hopefully, we should be able to, by the time it comes time to end, here in a few minutes, uh, we should have all this stuff here ready to rumble and roll. that there we go Let's see here nope didn't do this side but we can fix that um we'll just make a uh Temporary uh, access system uh, for that on this side. We'll keep it uh, keep it simple and not do from this side. We'll just have to do it the long way if we get uh, um, knocked over to the exterior side. So. It's one good thing I like about hoppers is that uh, here in the game is um, you can hop on the uh, you can have for you know like the chess and you you know you can hop on the very very edge of a hopper and not have to worry about have a, having as much uh, need for scaffolding. That's one thing I like about the working with hoppers. Now, of course, if you've got hoppers stacked one on top of the other, you don't have that ability. But um, the um, um, still the ability to do it as you're building up is. Dum dum is a good thing. Oh, 
Come here, dum dum thing. There we go. These get get the ow. <laughs> Look at that! I fell right through. I fell right through. At least the smelter caught me. <laughs> silly head. Twee is a silly head. At dum dum again. Usually, of course, being a dum dum. All right, come on, come on, tree. Ah, dum dum again. Yeah, I deliberately went after that torch. We're going to wrap up here in a few moments, guys, so. Because I got to go to work, of course, so. Oh. Just trying to hop onto that chest and, I mean, block and get through it. It didn't help. I did it again. I did it again. Get that. Ow. There we go. Oh, yay! We did it! We got a good start here on the cobble storage uh, system here with all the cobble silos. As you can see, um, we're going to have a lot of storage capacity. Um, I'm going to make sure that... Um, Double check my math, or double check the math that I should. But um, I think um, I remember it being, you know, two levels high. That should be probably be more than enough, especially given the fact that we're still got we still got a lot of um, processing uh, with uh, cobblestone to make uh, into smooth stone, and of course then stone bricks. So. We'll probably we're probably got it, gonna have more than enough storage capacity uh, to um, have um, not to have to worry about going say six levels. So uh, in that regard, yeah, I think we're probably gonna be set with the uh, the amount we got. So yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and call it a uh, stream. So I hope that you guys will. Uh, join me on a raid uh, let me see who is live who is live who is live but yeah i do appreciate everybody who has come out uh if you're watching here on twitch at twitch.tv slash osage orange please remember to go ahead and um um Hit that follow button. If you are watching over on the YouTube, it's over at youtube.com slash Osage Orange Gaming. Please remember to go ahead and uh, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, and of course, uh, um, make sure to follow me on the uh, Twits over at, um, <clears throat> excuse me, right, follow me over on the Twits at twitter.com slash osageorange01. Sorry about that. My brain was just going, sort of going, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me make sure I spell, uh, this is one of my good, good friends, so, um, haven't, uh, rated her for some time, so we are going to, uh, you know, say hi to her, so, uh, there we go. Going to be rating Silver Sarcasmic, so, uh, go ahead here, guys, and, um, 
So, like, the, the tree grove has arrived to bring you shade and water. That is our standard raid call. Please wait for me to post first. I want a nice, strong raid behind me. So, go ahead and um, hope you guys will uh, join me on Saturday for another episode of City Building Saturdays. Um, in City Skylines on Sunday for another episode of Titan Quest Vintage Grind. And, of course, next week, next Monday and Thursday, we're going to have some more episodes in Let's Play Minecraft Series 2. So... Let's go ahead here and uh, let's get this raid party started. As appreciates everybody who has come out. And I hope to catch you all in the next episode. Ta-ta for now.